Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 2023 Closes Olympics round six. Listen, if you've been paying attention to the previous rounds, you know that this competition is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Listen, I can't wait to listen to some of these closers get up here, show off their skills, put everything on the line, get some deals locked up. Listen, it, it's not uncommon for us to get an opportunity to see people close deals live. So listen, if you have an acquisitions team, if you know anybody who is looking to get into the real estate space and you want to find out exactly what it takes to close deals on a consistent basis, you have a team, you may just be a solopreneur with a nine to five, whatever that situation may be, this is the place that you want to be in order to start finding out how you can start closing more and more deals. Plus, we finna have a blast, baby. We get ready to have a blast looking at these competitors put everything on the table, blood and sweat and tears. You got to understand, a lot of these people have been practicing day in and day out to make sure that not only they display a massive amount of skills today, but also we put on an incredible show. So make sure you buckle up, get your notepads ready, Right. Get all of those things prepared because this is not going to be something that's going to be regular. So you want to make sure that you're taking notes and you're being active in this participation. So if you are ready to be active in this participation, go ahead and put a number one in the chat. Put a number one in the chat if you're ready to be active, if you're ready to be blown away, if you're ready to take down some some gems, some nuggets that you can take back to the company that you may have. Right. Or the sellers that you're trying to get closed up. Right. This is that opportunity to get that done. So I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of times. We got some we got some superstar judges. That I have a tremendous amount of respect for that we're going to get ready to bring up. Listen, these guys. I mean, listen, they don't even need <laughs> no no major introduction because number one, we got RJ judging the day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure if you know, I'm I'm a massive fan of RJ, his closing style, uh, the things that he's brought to this community is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we got RJ coming. We got my guy Max. One of my favorite, he's actually one of my favorite closing styles. Um, you know, how meticulous he is, how, how, how he, he drives the point home. He gets directly to the close, but at the same time, building just that right enough rapport. So you got some expert judges. We got my guy, Elijah, which is, is, is not only a good friend of mine, but also an absolute beast in the space. So you're not going to be getting regular opinions. It's almost going to be like you're getting a little bit of coaching from the judges. And at the same time, you're getting some entertainment. And at the same time, you're getting ready to pick up some expert opinions on some of the things that we're getting ready to witness. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and bring them up. I want to go ahead and bring them up so we can go ahead and start laying out my guy, my guy. Is that my, is that the RJ base in the building? And with the, the belt, belt, baby. And Yo, the belt. I love it. I love it. Hey, man, how you feeling today, man? What, what are you looking forward to witnessing today? Dude, I'm excited. I mean, we had the meeting last night with the closers. I think this is a great round uh, of closers. I think it's going to be heavily contested. Uh, it's like, like I told him last night, baby, it's all about getting ink on paper today. Uh, we, we got to close some deals. I'm excited. This is the last opportunity that anybody has to make the closers Olympics right here. Um, and, and I know how valuable it is to be a part of the closers Olympics. This is my third year being a part of it. Um, love the, the competition and I love the opportunity that these people have in front of them today. To, to go out and show what we do on a daily basis, but under pressure, under the spotlights, uh, literally thousands of people across the world are going to be able to watch them do what they do today. So I'm excited to be able to just sit back and kind of <laughs> critique. I've never gotten to do this before, so this is fun. Yes, indeed. You know, it's funny, man. Uh, I'm excited to listen to, um, you know, how you critique, because I think it's, it's even more value sometimes in the critique than it is in just watching the uh the actual competitors wouldn't you agree absolutely and 
you know, for me, these these leads that are coming from Lead Zolo are the same leads that I'm closing on a daily basis. So mm. I'm going to have a lot of insight on, uh, I, I don't know, I probably would have handled that a little bit different. But also Elijah and Max are completely different closers than me. So I think it's going to be fun to hear kind of the the chatter between us on how maybe we would handle situations a little bit different. But I think we've got some really skilled closers. I'm excited to see how many deals we get closed today. Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you, RJ. Big fan. Thank you, Always sir. a pleasure, brother. Always a pleasure. We got my guy Max, man. Um, it's Max ready. Where's my guy Max at? Max. What is up, Byron? What's happening, man? Oh, man. It's, it's, it's a pleasure and an honor to be in your presence again, brother. You know what stop, I mean? Stop, stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, nah, honestly, you happen to be actually one of my one of my favorite closers, honestly. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I and I've to, I told you that before, so yes. this is nothing new. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. I respect that. Thank you. What are you, what are you looking forward to on this one, Max? What are you looking forward to most? So you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, echo what uh, RJ was saying, man. It's uh, is this is a closing competition, which means right. that let's get some contracts, right? Let's get some ink to paper, and you know, and I think last night in the meeting. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about that, right? It's been a little bit of a lack of getting the uh, the, the the ink, uh, you know, to to you know the docu sign, excuse me, electronic signature. Um, I, I I respect the skills, the show of you know handling objections, negotiations, but at the end of the day, you know, closers close, baby, and we we got to get that contract. Um, and we got some really great competition today. As a matter of fact, we got. Two that are coming back that competed, and I want to see how they handle it this time. You know how they maneuver and how they're able to just you know uh, uh, get to the close, man. That's a fact. I love it, man. Yep, Let's I'm get excited. Elijah up, man, so we can go ahead and get the rules. Elijah, my guy. What? First hey. of all, first of all, what are you excited about on this one? Um, and also, you know, what what are you what are you what are you looking for like specifically from these contestants? Man, yeah, I mean, this is the sixth month. This is the sixth month, round six. We went through month after month, and just each round she's getting better and better. You know, I'm super excited to find out who's the final contestant who's coming with all the other ruthless closers from the first five rounds. So I'm definitely excited for that. I'm really excited to see how people, you know, pivot. How long they stay on calls? How long? How strategic they are? Are they scoring points? Or are they looking to get ink on paper, right? And so I'm really looking to see who really is coming to take it all versus who just kind of scoring points. So Love super it. excited for this. I really know that. And now we got like three people who are going to be in the closer Olympics, and we're yes. judging them. We're locking it. So this is going to be very not only edu edutainment at its finest. Educational. Absolutely. I'm going to be breaking it down, and it's going to be super entertaining. So real, real quick, because we know that it's rules, right? So we want to make sure that we're real, real yes. clear on the rules. Ain't nobody ain't nobody doing no shady business over yes, here. Yes, yes. So Let's what are the rules. rules? Let's lay them out real quick so everybody can know what to expect um, real quick before we get into the competition. Yes, let's get into those. So we're going to be using a scorecard. We're going to be using a scorecard. All the judges are going to be going off of. Each closer has 30 minutes. Each, 30, uh, each closer has 30 minutes to make phone calls. Use all calls to call off of the number one lead provider off of Lead Zolo. Um, as we'll be providing all the leads, we're going to be going in. Um, and so we're going to be looking at um, building rapport. How many we're going to be judging on how you build rapport, how you identify pain, how do you handle objections? Are you just are you just kind of avoiding them? Are you addressing them? Are you sidestepping them? We're going to be judging on uh, negotiations. Are you just giving them whatever price they're asking for? Are we really dialing things in and really getting things set up? Um, and then we're dialing in on. Did you get a? Did you get a verbal agreement? Did you do anything creative? Novation, subject to seller finance. We're gonna be. We're gonna be paying attention to that. We're judging them from zero to five points. There's a cumulative amount of points we're all able to get. You only can get a maximum of forty points. If you get a contract, you get points. The only way you get your ROI points if you have a contract and there's a tie. We're gonna determine who had the best contract, who had the best. ROI return on investment, and that's how we'll be determining it. This will be excited. I, I'm ready to get it popping. Nice. So, with that being said, listen, we're gonna get ready to queue up the video here in a little bit, but I want to I want to kind of break down a few things. So, number one, one thing that I like, uh, Elijah, is the fact that a lot of people in this competition 
have done creative deals in a lot of different ways. And it's amazing how, you know, everybody's creative styles and their creative exit strategy is a little different. How are you guys going to be differentiating between those or, or is it going to be a breakdown or what, what are you looking for specifically on that front? Because I've had a lot of people ask about those creative strategies. Creative strategies are good by all means. And we, we want people to be a versatile closer, right? And then mm -hmm. creative deals are, are going to absolutely happen in real life um, scenarios. However, just because you're, that might be something you're most comfortable with doesn't mean every call gets a creative offer, right? Some calls you're going to have to go for the cash deal, even though, uh, in your traditional business, you might want to make a, um, you know, a, maybe a novation offer or a subject to that's all you're comfortable with. But in the close Olympics, we want to go for the best deal, the best opportunity, and just be real clear of how that's going to work. Be very clear of what you're going to do separately to meet that seller's specific issue. You know, don't go off of what your comfortability is. Be a versatile plot, a player. Novation subject twos are good, but sometimes you have to go for that cash deal right now, and it'll be go time, you know? I love it. Well, let's go ahead and get the video queued up and ready so you can see exactly what we're getting into. And let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's get this thing popping. When I close, doors open, every key I This is a competition. Somebody's going home with the top closer title belt. If I did 189, would you have to talk to her or could you agree to that? Uh, all right, let's do 189.9 then. If I give you 31, if I give you 31, will you sign today? Where's so, I, so if if that's a price we can do, is this something you'd be ready to move forward with today as far as like an agreement in place? Closing time. Close it. Close it. Pick a trap in. Everybody get excited. He, he was good. <laughs> but this guy's got skills and his approach is different and it works so well. I look at report not as like, you know, weather sports. That was probably top five that I've ever seen. He moved us away. The truth is I already knew. It. I'm so hot, I'm melting up in it like ice. It's the, it's, it's the noise talking and backing it up for me and the consistency. It's something that you're never going to be able to see, I think, replicated anywhere else. It's so much you can learn from this. This is the best training series anybody could ever ask for. Mr. Knox, we're taking care of him, and we're going to spend the money with the family for somebody I don't know, okay? Yeah. On every call, it's sell or be so Let's go! Man, I thought that was going to be something. Is that something that you would want to move forward with, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything is possible. There is nothing holding you back. Baby, you won! You won, man! <laughs> yeah! Close it. Yeah. It's all on you. Close it. What you gonna do? Close it. And that's the, the bottom line. Close it. Yeah. Close it. Hey. Close it. Pick up the phone. Close it. Ooh. Big cash flow. Close it. Million dollar deal. Close it. Yeah. It's all on you. Close it. What you gonna do? Close it. I want the proof. Close it. Million dollar. I'm still jamming right now. That I love that intro. Listen. But if you're ready to get this thing started up, go ahead and put a file emoji in the chat. If you're ready to see and and and, and see who those, these closers are going to be, go ahead and put that file emoji in the chat. I just want to know who is activated right now. Because listen, I just want you to know that this is not going to be a regular experience. Go ahead and get your pens, your papers ready to go. Shout out to my guy, Robert. He's activated. Shout out to my guy, Landon. Activated. You hear me? Listen, this is not going to be a regular experience. I just want everybody to understand that we have some phenomenal talent that we're getting ready to display. And I need everybody to be activated. This is an activated type of event. Right. So let's go ahead and get this wheel started up so we can go ahead and find out who is getting ready to go first. Who is getting ready to taste the blood, baby. We get ready to jump into the pit. You know what I mean? To find out who will be the champion today i'm excited i am I, listen i am thoroughly excited i don't know if y'all can see it but i am definitely excited all right let's go ahead and get this thing popping all right what we got hmm. jen 
Jen looks like she's going to be knocking it out first. All right. I know Jen, too. Aya. Bitch. And Carlos. So listen, Jen has been here before. Matter of fact, I met Jen on the previous Closers Olympics qualifiers. And Jen was fire. I can't even front. I can't even front. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm supposed to put this information. I tell you not. <laughs> But I heard through the grapevine that it was a massive wager put up by Pace Morby on Jen. He got he put money up on Jen if she was going to win and take this thing or not. So this is not a regular investment. I just want everybody to thoroughly understand this. But Jen, she lives in SoCal. OK, and she's known specifically as the queen closer has closed over 40 plus deal. So she's not new to this. She's true to this. Okay. And she's the best closer. She has been successful in, in not only regular markets, but in virtual markets without ever stepping to, into any of these properties. Never stepped foot into the properties and still closing these deals, 40 plus of them. So a lot of folk be talking about coming up with all these excuses as to why they can't do this and why they can't do that. Listen, she's doing it. She's doing it. Right. So I'm I'm excited to bring up Jen. I, I, I thoroughly like Jen. Uh, I've been sharing her all over my social media. You've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. So Jen is definitely a, a, a true professional and, 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 and a dynamic closer. So I'm, I'm I have the honor and the pleasure to introduce Jen to you guys. So, Jen, where you at? Where you at? Hi. What up, though? <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm back. And first, I wasn't expecting that, but you're first. I'm ready. You think you're gonna take this thing? I'm gonna take this thing. Oh, I'm I'm all ready. I like it. I like the confidence, yeah. the yeah. quiet confidence. Yeah, let the best woman win. I love it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this party started. Where my judges at? Oh, you got this. You got this. Woosa. Yes, sir. Woosa. You got this, Jen. I look forward to see what you do, mama. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Set the tone, Jen. Let's go. I'm a, I love Show you all, but I'm going to turn, turn you down. That's right. Yeah, focus, what, right. I'll listen to what you have to say afterward. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm interested with here early on is uh, – Jen's ability to get when she gets someone on the phone, how quickly can she determine whether or not this is a viable seller that's willing to sell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because she is so big in the creative finance world. Yeah. That's kind of anti their world. Right. Their world is dig deeper, figure out the solution, and then offer those creative solutions. I want to see if she could kind of change her style a little bit to, to really find out. I love that you I love that you said that RJ because um you know I think you really have to pay attention to what's coming on the other side to 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 really you know your active listening skills to find out if you got a prospect or a suspect here especially when you have Enricias, this is Jen I have a request here for a fast cash sale from you on Spring Mill Street How are you You're good Okay. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like I have. I can hear another person there in the background. Is she yeah. also? Is she? Oh, great. So, am, am I on speaker? Oh no, speaker's good because that way I can talk to you both at the same time. I love it. Okay. Well, she she's in here trying to get her. Oh, okay. It's 
it's your house. So if we were to agree on a reasonable price today and you feel comfortable with me, would you feel comfortable signing a purchase agreement today to move forward? Uh, kind of possibly, yeah. Possibly. Okay, I get it. We just started talking. So I'm going to ask you a few questions to see if we're the right fit. And if we are, we can talk numbers. If not, no hard feelings. Just let me know. Is that fair? Okay, great. So catch me up to speed. What has you considering selling? Well, uh, one, uh, I'm buying a house. I'm buying, finally buying a house. And I, it was, uh, uh, this was, this house was, uh, was passed down to me. I, it's a duplex. And basically we, we put the, we put the new roof, new furniture and everything. And I, it was while, while it was raining and it was going pretty good, but, after a while, uh, you know, I got tired of the winter thing. I've been doing it for nine years. I, I came back to Mansfield because my my father was sick, and of course he passed, and so he missed my mother. Oh. So now we're you know we're we're, we're going through that. Then we just I just recently lost my brother, and so I decided uh, I had a small it was the apartment I'm in now because I live in that. Uh, it's just too small, and I, and I, I wanted, I wanted a house. I, you know, I, I had a VA uh, business, and so I, I need to move on. So okay, so I think I understand. Then, then you, so you're a VA. Thank you for your service. I have a lot of a, pre, a lot of admiration for military. So thank you. And you, so this is a duplex, and you live in one unit. How, how yeah. many, how many beds and baths are in the one unit? Uh, the one unit is uh, uh, where I'm staying. It's one bath. It's a one bedroom. A one bedroom, then, one bath. Yeah, well, yeah. Upstairs is uh, the two two bedroom. Okay, so we got a one bedroom, one bath, and a two bedroom, one bath, and you're living in one. And is the other one owner? Is it um, occupied by a tenant? No, 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 no. I I clean it up and then I. I, when I started screening for new tenants this time, this is about the third time I've had to rent. You know, you know I had long-term tenants, but then they, then they start, it, it started getting janky. And then I got the thing that, you know, I'm getting ready to get into a house, and I know that I want to want to spend more time in taking care of my house. So it, it's enough, you know. Yeah, I, it's enough. And then I'm sorry about, you know, the important people in your life who you've lost, too. I, I'm sorry for that. I hope that we can help you with your house at least so that we can get you to your next chapter. Do you have a place already in mind to move to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already, we're about to, uh, yeah, we're about to, yeah, we're about to close on the 27th. Yeah, we're oh. already, we're, uh, we're She's got to go sell her finance. Oh, that's great. So you close in like a less than a couple weeks. You're already approved. So it doesn't sound like you need the money. From this house to buy your next house, well, then? No, I mean, ain't like I, I mean, it ain't like I don't need the money, but it's, it's just like it's just that this house now is like a. So the first, okay, my mother, she she she's eighty four years old. And I'm gonna just fill the story out. I'm I've been running. I'm her. I you know I take care of her business and stuff like that. Well. As, as in the, the long term effect, they supposedly gave me the house that is still, is still in her name. But the thing is, uh, she she can't, she won't be able to go. She, if, if, as long as I give the offer to what you know, what you have so that we're going to get, then, then that's going to be that's going to be a beautiful thing. But yeah, we, we need to. Yeah, there's no value, it's all cash flow. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just I want to make sure I get to the important questions because I have another call coming up and I want to make sure I get you what you need. So you you sound like you're an experienced investor. You've been doing this for nine years, you said. So 
what have the offers been like so far that while you've been shopping it around? Well, I, you know, I want to, I, I, I had talked to someone earlier and I said, if you're you know, like, we're going about 42 or at least 45 on it, you know, and then beyond that, uh, you know, that way, because like I said, money that we've already, that money that we've already put into it, you know, you know I see. So you're yeah, we get at least get some return back. You know, we we drop we drop uh, oh, I wanna say maybe about fifteen thousand just you know, cleaning up the, the, the Okay. So, so, so if I just want to make sure I'm hearing you right. So you said forty five thousand is your is your bottom line. Yeah. Hold on just a second, real quick. I'm, I got a little bit of time. Forty thousand. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So let me ask you this. It sounds like timing is one of the most important things for you. So what? What is your ideal timing to get this done? Like, are you thinking like less than 30 days? Yeah, oh, hold on, one, one more way, hold on, this way, we'll go to Give me, uh, give me, uh, give me four cheese sliders and a, and a French fry, please. I'm sorry, how many sliders? Four cheese sliders and Yeah, this guy, this, this is, this is not a. And a what? A French fry. Um, Should have went with the gain opportunity option like I'm that. Glad that, you got that your order in there. Uh, like, I just have a, I have a few right? more minutes, so I want to ask you something. I just know you seem like a really honest, fair person, yeah. and so I want to be that back. I just know from like looking at poking around on the internet, if I'm going to take this back to my team, I know my funding partner is going to be a lot lower than that. It, it's going to be anywhere from like, I, I, I hate to even tell you because I think I feel like I'm failing you by telling you this number, but I just have to share. It's going to be below 15,000. I have, I have another question and I understand why you would pass. What if, what if, what if I could upgrade you from a landlord to a lender? Uh, landlord to a lender. Like, what if I could come higher on my number? Not a whole lot higher, but like maybe to a little bit higher? Okay, yeah. I understand. I think perhaps maybe, have you already talked to a realtor? Do you need a referral for a good one? No, I got, I've already got a realtor. Uh, you know, I, I did have one guy even come out looking, but, Okay. You know, so, I mean, I, you know, definitely not going to be enough. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry we can't help you out, but I wish you luck. Yeah, fine. Okay, fun. have a good one. Bye. Boy, spent a lot of time on that one. Okay, two, one, two. All right, you got plenty done. They answered on the first yeah. dial. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of time left. I think this is where the that audience like, has to be careful with trying to, because he said a lot of stuff. But that's I didn't know how to sell for that cheap. Those are all that's situational like, things as that much he as said, my which then leads into the gain opportunity, not a pain of distress, right? So you got to shift that conversation a lot faster, right, and get her in pocket. Like she, that took us almost ten minutes just to disqualify her. You know, that that took a little, little bit of time. But and that's that's part of the competition. No one to hold them when they fold them. A hundred percent. Shout out to Naaman for for comping that quickly because I was confident on my side that that was a bullshit property to comp. Okay, uh, but on on Jen's side, what I would have liked to have seen there a little bit is get that number out of them before everything. Please leave that bitch for. Because as you see, they gave the number freely. It yeah, it would have come early. Please leave your message. She could have been diving into the value herself, knowing, hey, is this a waste of time or not? She yeah. probably could have saved herself about six, seven minutes there. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. I love how she's navigating, though. She's 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 doing really well. Uh, you know, her nerves are don't show up as much as last time. 
Right. So she's navigating the conversation. I think it's just more now of, and I get it. We're in a competition. I want to close it, close it, but we have to also realize like, hey, let's move on from this. It says, user busy. Please do not hang up. The other thing is, is when you're comping this yourself, please leave. if she had just had prop stream up, triple dial, the address, she would have immediately seen there is no value in this neighborhood. She would have gone the seller finance route and hit them with that, which is her skill set, anyways. Yeah. yeah. It's her strength. Hello. Hi, Clifford. This is Jen. I have your request for a fast cash sale on your property on Sun Valley Road. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you for asking. So uh, I am curious, what has you considering selling? Um, well, we're trying to bounce. I have a uh, custody of our grandkids. So, uh, they going back with their mother now. And uh, so we just need to downsize to get us something a little bit smaller. It's too much out for us. I see you're downsizing. Well, that's that sounds like it's a good thing then that the kids are going back. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, well, that's wonderful. So then it sounds like that next place is pretty important to you, would you say? Uh, yeah, we pretty much got it squared away. You got uh, it. Um, we just uh, trying to, uh, so we have reached out to a couple of different people. I uh, had a couple of different uh, investors uh, come in, look at the house, and did certain different things. Uh, I think you like the third, no, fourth, fourth one we talked to. Okay. Uh, um, and we just trying to get some numbers. If they sound good, then we'll let it go. But so it's, I, I'm glad. Thank you for sharing that. Good. So since you've already been talking to people, doing research, it sounds like you're not, you're pretty educated now. You've been talking and getting offers. Like, yeah. what is it that you need from a buyer in order to get this deal done? Um, I would need at least two hundred out of it. Uh. Uh, we checked around, you know, we've seen the price and we've seen what they're listing for. Uh, we talked with the agent, uh, which is a friend of my wife's, and he told me we can list it. And of course, you know, we can, you know, get more. But I said, if I can get it out of there and don't have to do that, I'd rather do that. But, uh, um, yeah, at least I, at least 200. And that's how that's me. So you mentioned the realtor. Is that what the realtor says you can list it for? Um, no, actually, I can list it for more. We can list it because we had um, an appraisal come through uh, and appraised the house. Um, uh, and I got, he just sent us a copy. I need to check my email. But he sent us a copy of it and he listed it at, uh, I mean, he appraised it at 257 yeah. And like I said, we can get 200 out of it. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So he appraised it at 257 in its current uh, condition. So does this mean it's fully market ready? Yes. yes nothing wrong with the home. So it's 2023, market ready, show ready. Nothing needs to be done. Nothing needs to be done. Well, it sounds like then listing with the realtor would be a good option unless there's something you're hoping to get from a going direct to a buyer like myself that you cannot get from your realtor. Well, I just didn't want to deal with all the closings and all this extra, 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 uh, 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 doing all that. I just, if I just get rid of it, plain old like that, be done with it. I would have done that. But again, uh, if we can get more from, from the list and all the phones, that's fine too. I really have, both options are available for us. There's no big rush for me to sell. Uh, like I said, we just weigh in our options and see what comes our way. If a good number, we'll go with it. Not I get just, it. No big deal. Yeah, no big deal. I think I think just to like be honest with you and looking around online like quickly is that we're gonna be pretty far below that um, yeah. for a cash offer. That's okay. one way that we buy, and yeah, right. it. It looks like, I mean, if I took this back to my underwriter, it's going to be more in the hundreds. Gotcha. I understand. I know you guys got to make your money. Well, you know, it's just like. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. This is my wife. Hold on. 
Oh, that awkward yeah. silence was beautiful. I it's love it. Good. But You're maybe right. you want to patch your wife in? He pushed her back. He allowed him, and he's internally closing himself. Yep. Internally closing. Hello? Him. This guy's been talking to a few people already, so he's... He already knows the reality. He's just trying to see if he... Yep. Move on. Yeah. Move on. Okay. I guess I'm just going to hang up. Yeah, move on. We're exactly. Come back you need to minutes. Them, you need a minutes. All right. We'll call him back. We'll call him back on the follow-up, not, not on the competition. Okay. You, Maybe you I'll did, come back to him. You did a good thing on that one. Move on. on. <laughs> well, he got to cut it. You know, got some cool. points. Move on to the next one. <laughs> there we go. Racking up points over here. Mayweather. Mayweather. Jab, jab, I'm going to call Georgia, <laughs> and then I'll call Clifford back. Hello. This is Georgia. Oh, she sounds nice. Okay, let me see. One thing that I like to do, and I know you, know, you do this a little bit different, is when they do have a price in mind, my next thing is like, how quickly, how soon do you want to get them done, right? Because that's going to tell me, you know, how in their mind, if you got that price that you're asking, how soon are you looking Come to get Come on, Georgia. Because that'll tell you a lot. Yep. You know, even if you haven't negotiated yet, just getting a timeline based on what they're looking to get will tell you a lot from them. Georgia, Georgia. No. Okay, let me see. <laughs> As you're making those calls, you know, <laughs> it's, it's especially after you talk to two people, you don't want to start thinking about, man, did I mess up? Should I stay on a little longer on that last call? Yeah. Just be willing to take the next steps. Just keep moving forward. Do what you naturally do. Yep. I think she's doing a phenomenal job, uh, you know, building that rapport. She does. She gets that rapport built really fast, which Real is fast. great. It's now just the next phase now is just moving a little faster for the price and then the timeline and then a boom. Yeah. yeah. I mean, realistically, in when Kentucky. That oh, Kentucky's pretty much, so I hope they answer. She needs that Ohio lead be more realistic. That's what she needs right now is a seller like that. I mean, that was a good wholesale. Game. Yeah. It's funny, before the competition you had said, hey, Jen, first lead, they're going to answer and you're $30,000 off on price. She probably would have said, I can do that. The problem was is that the whole price was 45000 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Going and, back to you. Go ahead, Darjee. Yeah, what I was going to say is, is this is killing me because going back to that first call, those precious minutes that, that got chewed long. up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Negative. But that's yeah. what I was going to say. Going back to what Elijah said, like, because you're, man, did I leave? Did I went too too much? Did I leave? Did I not do enough? Because of this right here. <laughs> we call it closer's remorse. <laughs> <laughs> like seller remorse. Hi Clifford, it's Jen calling back. I have hi, I have one I have one more question for you. Oh, okay. Sounded like 100s. Are you absolutely opposed to that mid 100 mark cash? Uh, mid 100? Mid 100. Uh, yeah, I am. I okay. Can't, can't so then let me ask you something. 
do you need the money from this house in order to, no, you said you're already closing, right? You're already like ready to go? Right, right. We're pretty much ready to uh, make the move. Uh, so you don't uh, need the money then from this house in order to buy the next house? No, no, no. Okay. So then I have a solution for you. What if we could come higher on our number and make you payments on your equity so that we can pay a higher asking price? Uh, I, never, I never looked at it that way. That's, that's different. Um, can, you, can you send me that? Can you send me the information on that, how that works? Well, you know, I don't. So, what information would you be wanting? It sounds like you have a question. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with what you just said. That's well, let me tell you how we're helping out another seller. So, I have this seller, Mike. We just closed on his property yesterday. He are he didn't need the money up front either. So, what we did is we gave him the best asking price he's received off market with a quick close. And now every month he gets passive income, mailbox money. He does nothing. We pay the taxes, the insurance. We're responsible for the maintenance and the upkeep of the property. He just gets to collect money. Would you consider that? I'm interested. You'd be so, interested. <laughs> I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Um, I let me talk it over. My passion still on the phone with him. You want to get her in? See what she think about it. I'm sorry. Should we do a three-way? And do you want to like patch her into the call? I'd be happy to well, chat with her. She, she's more one of them people to let her know what's going on before you just put her on the phone with somebody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, give me a second. Let me talk with her. Okay. It'll probably be about a good 10, maybe 15 minutes. Let me talk with her. Is there any chance we can call you back in like a couple minutes? Because I, I have a confession. I'm I'm actually in a competition with my friends, and I only have five minutes to like buy a house. Give, give me give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's all RJ's fault. Oh, he hung up. Oh, oh, you did that last year. You did that last year. So yeah, hung, did they hang up? Back. Did they hang up? Uh, no, no. No, that's help? a tough one. Do I call back? Yeah. Do I yeah, call back. Call I like, I'll, I'll, back. Hold. I'll back. wait on hold. Go ahead. What's what going to happen? He's going to say yeah. something mean to you? Who cares? <laughs> right. Blame yourself. Oh, my phone got disconnected. What's up? What happened? <laughs> oh, my fat thumbs. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Damn. Daniel, hi. This is Jen. I have your request for a fast cash sale on your property on Solano Drive. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I am wondering, what has you thinking of selling? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that's not, not me. That's not you? You didn't fill out a form online or watch a video that said you wanted to sell your house on in Buckeye? Yeah, nope. that's, uh, that's very weird. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Okay, I'm going to call the other guy back. Okay, can scratch that buck I want to just put in the chat. Please leave your message. Darn, he's still on with the wife. He didn't answer my call. I'm going to be honest with you. Five minutes with the lead Zolo lead is plenty of time if she gets the right seller right now. Easy. That's Easy. Cool. There it is. Oh. Oh. Great. Call that back. That's the seller right there. Okay. Stumbling and bumbling and dropping their phone. They need money, baby. Let's go. Hello? They got a $6,000 ship box in Jackson, Mississippi. I Can you hear me? <laughs> Bartholomew? Bartholomew. Woo. Bartholomew. Golly. Woo. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, look, Bart. <laughs> 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 
like, uh, like uh, look, Bubba. This would have been like, look, Bart. <laughs> hey, Bubba, hey, Bart. <laughs> Plenty of time. Like, let me make this short, Bart. Which one for your house? <laughs> Let's even cut your name short. <laughs> I ain't got enough minutes in my competition to say Bartholomew. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> <say that. laughs> I gotta say, she didn't recuperate. Hi, Cliff. Uh, Hi, Clifford. It's Jen. Thanks, Jen. She, she don't want to do it. She said she didn't want to get rid of the house. Oh, well, you would get rid of it. We would buy it. <laughs> I get know, but call. she, want, she don't want. She don't understand how that goes. Yeah. And, uh, she, she, she said that I don't know what that is. So okay. I, I well, told I, I told her I didn't either. Well, uh, would it be helpful? To, is she open to a conversation for a minute? Uh, maybe, maybe she is. She's at work now. Oh, okay. So, uh, Call uh, work number. Yeah, just catch her. I had to catch her at a good time. We had to catch her at a good time. Okay. Which would probably be tomorrow. Okay. Around, I understand. Lunchtime. Okay. Well, All right. Or so tomorrow around lunchtime. So we're a no go for today. I appreciate your time, no though. No problem. Okay. Really? You're welcome. Bye. If you were to say yes, Dang. I'll try to went the verbal. I'll try to get a verbal out of him. Man. Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Jenny, this is Jen. I have a request here from you for a fast cash sale on your property on Quinn Road. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good. So yeah. what what has you considering selling? My um, two bedroom uh, double wide. Oh, it's a double wide. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, can I ask you a question and we can see if we're the right fit for each other? Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the most important to you about thing to you about selling right now? Well, I want I have my uh, dog that um, uh, that I can't have because it, he he they said, said he was too big. Oh. And so, anyways, and I live I own my house, but I live in a trailer park. Okay. So I pay, pay space rent. I see. So it sounds like then if, if we could find you a place where you could house your dog with you, then that would be important to you? Yes, I'm in the process of um, getting, um, getting an it. Uh, okay. What is it? The animal support? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Certified. Yeah. Well, then for then, you... then I have a little dog and two cats. Okay. Cat. I know how much you want. Yes. Oh, oh no, that's okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just there you go. I have a minute. I just realized until my next call. But you know, what number would you need today in order for this to make it a deal for you? Oh, um, I'm I'm not quite sure. Probably about sixty. Sixty. And sixty. Sixty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man oh man oh man that was a um tense moment that was a really really tense moment because at the end of the day man i can't wait to hear what the judge has got to say about this listen go ahead put what you think in the chat i want to hear your opinion did you think these were some good calls 
It, it was this just a, a luck of the draw kind of situation? What are your thoughts? What's going on in your mind as you got a chance to witness? Listen, the skills were there. I, I'm not even going to front. The skills were there. But what were your thoughts? What were your thoughts? Definitely put your thoughts in the chat before we bring up our judges. Because this was interesting to me because it, it was almost like she never quite kind of got in there to be able to get that right jab. You know, this is a ruthless competition. Munif, you're right. You're definitely right about this. This can be a ruthless competition. But listen, at the end of the day, I don't make the scorecards. You don't make the scorecards, but we can get your opinion on this. And right now, uh, according to some of the, the comments, you know, Munif says this is a t tough competition. That is that is 100 percent right. Um, somebody said Boo Boo leads. I don't know about that. I think Zolo got the leads on point um, because she actually got some people that were interested in having good conversation. Um, you know, it's it's just at the end of the day, sometimes you need that little bit of time. You know, everything doesn't bode well for a competition. Uh, Josh says, yo, she works like a pro under pressure. That is true. That is 100 percent true. Listen, I want to hear what the judges have to say on this. I know that Max is ready to go. I know that Elijah is ready to go. I think uh, RJ may be still working on his card, uh, but I'm ready for any, any of, uh, oh my God. Okay, RJ's done. So listen, the scores are in. I'm interested to hear Elijah, Max, RJ. Who's up first, man? Who Who's up first? Let's get this thing popping. Let's get it, Max. Let's go. What's going on, Byron? Man, I'm I'm trying to find out, man. What what were your thoughts, man? It was um, you know, I love uh, you know, that first call was a little was a little rough, but she recuperated a little later. Um, yeah. one of the things that I judge on is is the ability to move the cell forward. Everything has to be able to move the cell forward, right? Whether you're building rapport, whether you're negotiating, whether you're pitching creative, handling objections, all that stuff. It's to be able to move the cell forward and you got to you got to be able to. And, and I get it. We're in a competition and, you know, and sometimes you might you might rush some things. Uh, I think she did really well building report like that was out of the out of the uh, you know, out of this world. Uh, I, I gave her a four on that. And the reason why is because I believe building report, sh like I said, should should always move the cell forward. Right. Not no just doubt. get stuck and talking about chit chat. Uh, I didn't see, a, uh, you know, I saw some negotiations there, um, but I love to see the negotiations to where now you're getting timeline, you're getting price. I know she did that on the last like one or two calls, getting the price out of them, uh, which was, you know, which is the, the ideal creative option. She did really well. She called that guy back. I know on the first one that she pitched was a little bit, uh, you know, soft, but I love what she did on the last one. Um, handling objections, again, you know, things that were, forward and identifying the pain um we always have to be aware there's two types of different pains which is pain of distress and and, and also gain opportunity right and that's what we have to figure out on a call and it's tough but she did really well she did awesome wow well we saw the score right uh looks like we was at a 15 and uh look it is what it is you know, uh, thank you so much for that, Max. I think that was an awesome score for what we saw. I thought that was very fair, my opinion, you know, yep. me personally. Uh, and I think the, uh, the, the, you know, what you said about it was was spot on. So thank you for that. Up next, up next, I think we have, is it Elijah or do we have my guy, RJ? Let's get it. Let's get to our next, uh, let's get to our next judge. Elijah. Guy. Woo. Wow. That, that was pretty fire. That was pretty fire. You just started <laughs> off. I mean, you know, they say ladies first, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> was I the only one on the edge of my seat, though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Right, man. This is, I mean, just because you know these are talented people. We know everybody yes. could, could, could score triple doubles, can heat up. Um, real quickly, I think what she did, I think as far as what I judged her on, I think she did really good on the rapport side. Mm -hmm. I think she obviously she's instant connector. She had that endearing voice ready to go. I gave her three on negotiation. Um, I think um, on the uh, the creative side, I gave her a three. I think she did a really good job with uh, explaining in a story method what it said: numbers tell, stories sell, 
And Munif did a phenomenal job last year on this. And you can see in the sub two community, they really good to take time weaving in a story in educating and explaining how the creative option is going to work. So I think yes. she did really good with that. I don't think she had a lot of time to um, handle up. I think I only gave her one on handling the objections. Um, I, I would have did a little bit working, digging in, trying to get the wife on board or what's holding them back. What, um, who's the real decision maker is. And then um, I gave her a three on identifying pain. And yeah, she got 15 points on mine. 15 points, man. Listen, Let's go ahead and get the party started, man. Thank you for that, Elijah, man. Let's go ahead and get RJ up and let's get it. What, what, I mean, how, what you think, man? Uh, my score is no indication of uh, my thoughts about Jen's skill sets, but uh, I'm coming in much lower. Um, I, I didn't think there was any rapport that led to anything in the conversations. I didn't think that there was negotiations in there because essentially – she found out prices and then essentially it was dead at that mm. point. There was no negotiating creative options. She did hit two seller finance offers. Thought that was good. The handling objections. I love the line about I'm in a competition. Uh, but at the end of the day, it led to nothing. It led to her getting told no. And uh, I didn't find pain. Uh, I just don't think she had a whole lot of pain to identify, or at least I didn't hear it. Um, at the end of the day, this is a results-oriented business, and there weren't any results. Um, so that's why my score is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. Thank you so much for that, RJ. Man, well, listen, this is a competition, you guys. This is a competition. And we put it all on, on, on the line when we step foot inside of the Closers Olympics arena. Let's go ahead and get my guy Drew up. Real, real quick. Let's get my guy Drew up. Listen, Jen got 36 points. In my honest opinion, right, I think that's a solid number. And at the end of the day, guess what? The other competitors have to beat that score. And this is a no excuse zone. Uh, at the end of the day, you either close or you lose. That's simple. So let's go ahead and get Drew up. I want to hear more, and I'm pretty sure you want to hear more about these leads, right? Um, because leads are literally everything to any business. If you, if you show me a business that is not able to produce consistent quality leads, I'm going to show you a business in bankruptcy. Okay. And shout out to my guy, Drew. He's going to be coming in and giving us, he's going to be giving us, um, you know, uh, feedback on these, uh, on these leads here in a little bit, but, but first, before we do that, I want to get Jen's reaction to the score that she got. What are your thoughts on this score? Um, that I bombed. Just to be real, I bombed. So disappointed, not in the judges, but in myself, because I think I was not on what I usually do. Like I usually am going for the timeline. I'm really usually like getting those things and I don't know what it was, but um, I was had a, another vision in mind and I was not being what I usually do. I can respect that. But my personal opinion, I think that the calls were handled perfectly in terms of professionalism. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, what I got a chance to witness and listen, my hat's off to you. And I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, regardless of this competition, you're going to be closing deals and making money in real life. Thank so you. Shout out to you. Thank shout you. I appreciate you. the opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you. Where's my guy, Drew? <laughs> I need my guy, Drew, to come in and show us exactly why you should be looking into Zolo Leads. Because at the end of the day, like I said before, we need leads in every single business. And if you show me a business without leads. Now, I'm not Drew yet. All right. I'm not Drew. All right. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's about to come on here in a second. But I do want to just, you know, just highlight a little bit about why we we have Lead Zolo in place, because they are going to be the main lead PPC lead provider for the whole Closer Olympics. For the whole Closer Olympics, it's gonna, they're going to be the main lead provider and, and as he comes up here, there's a reason why we, we decided to make a strategic 
move with them because I'm personally closing them. I don't know if you guys watch RJ's 50 and 50. He's closing on them. Max is closed on them. So, so from the biggest closers in the game, we are all personally closing on them. We wanted to make sure we test them out and, and make sure that we're closing deals. I think over half of the deals that um, over, I think about 50 contracts that are closing with RJ um, all came from Lead Zello. And wow. we, we want to make sure we have the premium leads, the best lead sources for the best competition because we're finding out who the best real close is going to be. You know, that's how we want to make sure we have it locked in here. So, so with no further ado, Drew in the building. Hey guys, thanks for having me coming on. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Yeah, this is a blast, man. Watching Jen work those leads was exciting. I was sweating. Like that was <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. So tell us a little bit about Lead Zolo. Can you break that down? Why would somebody want to utilize this product? Yeah, well, Lead Zolo is unique, you know, and that's, you know, that's how we stand out. Um, we, we make a point of standing out. We make a point of being unique. You know, I've been in business for a while. You know, my partner and I have a few companies. And if we've learned any one thing, it's that don't, don't compete, right? If you can learn how to be somewhere where none of your competitors are, you just can't help but win. Like, there's literally no other option. So the reason we got into the wholesaling industry and starting to provide leads was because we noticed that nobody was on YouTube. Um, you know, open door was the only person attempting YouTube. They failed miserably, by the way, I'd love to show you some stats on that one day, but, uh, what it was just this massive blue ocean wholesalers were, you know, you, you'd go to a red light, you got 15 bandit signs with 15 numbers. You know, if you're one of those signs, you kind of roll in the dice, hoping they call your number, Google ads, same thing. You're one of four ads on the top, three on the bottom. You're kind of just it. playing the odds, one of seven. Where in YouTube, there's zero competition. So we came in, we uh, you know we developed our system and our, and our funnel and our actors and all that. We own another agency. And what we're able to do is lean on uh, the intelligence of Google. So we're able to target people who are specifically in uh, distress situations. Like Bartholomew, mm. unfortunately, Jen didn't <laughs> get to talk to him. Uh, when he filled out that form, like he's going through foreclosure, like he needs help, right? Wow. Um, um, the, these people that are filling out these forms need help. They're on YouTube it. specifically looking for ways to relieve their pain. Uh, and we're able to get in front of them and and deliver these leads uh, in a way that nobody else can, which is just absolutely it. incredible. Well, listen, I can't wait to get back to this competition. And I'm sure you can't wait to listen to how these people maximize the leads that you're providing. You and me both. I'm I'm leaving the cottage right now to jump on a plane. I already told my wife she's driving, and my phone yes, and my indeed. headphones on the whole drive to the airport. I'm uh, I'm pumped up. <laughs> well, listen. Thank you so much, and uh, I'm ready to get into the next competitor. My guy Aya, Aya, from all the way from Dominican Republic. Okay, uh, which is the wholesaler who lives literally on an island, like in the island in Dominican Republic, like like. And then listen to this, listen to this. This is what's so cool about it. It's doing over 80 plus deals a year in a Dominican. So you're living in paradise, living in paradise, closing 80 plus deals a year. I can only imagine what the, what the quality of the living is like in this particular place uh, because you're living in paradise and you're making this much money closing 80 plus deals a year. That's absolutely amazing. Um, Definitely the closer of all closers and provides solutions for every single seller. So I'm interested to see how Aya is going to impress us in this particular competition. And I'm pretty sure you are as well, because number one, who else gets to live on an island and close deals in the States? That's amazing. So let's get to it. No further ado. Aya, where you at? You got to unmute my buddy. All right, all right. I thought you could unmute me. Can you hear me now? Yes. But Aya, real, real quick. You're living in paradise and closing deals in the States. That's right. That's right. I think I'm the only one who's wholesaling from an island. I know people go out of state. I took it to an island. I love it. I love it. Man, I can't wait. What are you looking forward to? I'm excited, man. I, um, I'm i excited to show my style. I feel like it's really different. I, uh, I like to build a lot of rapport with people. I like to match their energy. Uh, and also to find out, you know, a solution for their problem. 
Like well, our, the whole business model is just oriented around solutions. Like we call ourselves real estate solutions company, you know? So well, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um sounds good. I had to put my disclaimer on my uh, my score there in the in the chat. I, I don't think you needed to, brother. It is what it is. Like you know, I mean, it's and, and you saw some things that maybe I didn't, maybe that are that Elijah didn't. Right? Like, we all look at. Wait. Hey there, how's it going? Can you hear me? Who's this? This is Ilya. Out the gate. I actually got some information that you're you're looking to sell your property here. Wait. Let's go. When? I'm not sure. I was going to find out from you. Oh. I think you spoke with somebody here. That's a good way to get in. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> How's Which it going? Uh, the one that's on 10 South Black Oak Street. That's in. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, Don't give out the whole address, guys. <laughs> National <laughs> televised. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just not. Doesn't make sense at all. So, gotcha, gotcha. They're trying to take it away from you. They try. They're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to lowball you. I got it. I got it, man. Yeah. So, I mean, it sounds like you have a number in mind you're looking to get, and nobody's able to ma match that number. Is that right? Yeah. Nobody. Man. Yet, until I put it on the market, then that's what it's going to end up doing. Putting that on the market, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's always an option. Um, let me ask that's you this. the only option. Well, let me see if there's something I can do here. So I'll, I'll be the last chance, I guess, before it goes on the market, huh? Exactly. <laughs> You'll be the last one. There we go. There we go. Let me ask you this. What's the, what's the price you're looking to get for this property that no one's able to? Okay. Or ballpark range, like at least. Next door. It's, yeah, right to it. I love it. I think you got an offer for 235 Okay. Oh, Next door one. Gotcha. So I'm, I'm not gonna let it go for less than two ten to fifteen. You know, probably even put it on the market for that amount and let it do what it's gonna do. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, what's the overall condition? I mean, so you're already giving us about twenty thousand in equity. Uh, the next store property was it fully updated, like twenty twenty three standards, new kitchen, bathrooms, flooring, all that good stuff. Everything got a new roof. Uh, yeah. That's the neighbor's house, or your house was is updated yeah, also. I'm talking about mine. Nice, nice. You wanted foreclosures type uh, conditions, right? So you can not always, not always. So, so look a little bit about our company. We're a real estate solutions companies. We deal with foreclosure oh. properties that are beat up, and we usually fix those up. Uh, right. Properties like in your condition, what we typically do is we take them and we use them as rentals, um, you know, Airbnb and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking about 210 for that property. Now, let me ask you a question that most wholesalers don't usually ask. Are you willing to, you know, be the bank on this property? If no, you're in, I don't. You don't want to no. hold, you don't want to hold no. a note on it. Gotcha. Nope. Okay. Just mm -hmm. like renting. I might have to uh, uh, foreclose on you. So you know, default. You got to move on. Nope. Yeah, yeah that, definitely. That's true. That's it's true. But I know, yeah. I know in Texas, that's you know, it, it's pretty, it's pretty quick that you could foreclose on somebody. I know my guys uh, foreclosed yeah, within a month, he, but I guess you don't want to deal with that type of headache, huh? Seller said some key words there earlier. Now, are you, you living this, or is this like a rental property? It's yeah. a rental. Gotcha, a rental. gotcha. <clears throat> and what's the what's the like the cash flow? What are they renting it for? How much are they paying you? Okay, it, that doesn't matter. No, no, I want to calculate cash flow to see if this yeah. makes sense for us. Got to move on, brother. It depends on how much you, you put down, how much your what's your credit score. Every every situation is different. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my cash flow might be more than yours or, or less. I don't know. See, this is a gotcha. different place now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you look and you said you're looking for about two ten, yeah. huh? Don't waste the time. Oh, I might put mm -hmm. it on the market. Okay, low number and be out. This, this is where I would have uh, set on the closers lab. Yeah, based on what I'm seeing here, like like you said, fully prop like properties that are in really good condition, selling uh -huh. on the market, they're selling for about two hundred and twenty. But keep in mind, they're paying the commission, they're paying transfer taxes, they're paying you know concessions, all that stuff. So even if you sell it on the market right now at that price that you're looking to get, you're not really walking away with it. And yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, you want to save that money. Of course, of course. I'm trying to save you time and money, but you know, I need a little bit of flexibility. You man. might be and selling if, out if I'm on able this to get one. you Not some good. cash mm -hmm. in your pocket. 
realistically, my offer is going to be anywhere from like 145 to too. That tells us We see you. Go find another one. That's it. All right. Well, look, you know what? You All we can do is try. I appreciate your time. Have a great day. There you day. go. Bye bye. Let's go. Hey. The difference here, though, is is that this is the same call that Jen got, but he got to it in four yeah. and a half minutes in comparison to ten. Yep, right, exactly. He got right to it, so you he not eating the two in a way time. A little too longer for my taste, but he did a phenomenal job. Agreed. He wasted ninety seconds. So <laughs> mark it at twenty five minutes. He wasted ninety seconds. Let's see where this ends. Great objection jumping, though, for sure. Yeah, and he got right to it. You can see, you oh, can yeah. see him being a former cop. You can see oh, his bro, ability to just get right to it. He's like, hey, no BS. Compliment from the seller, right? First words out of the mouth were a compliment from the seller. That's always good. Yep. And he got the chuckle in the first couple of seconds, too. Yeah. You know, that's solid. He also completely understood the scenario. I'm, I've already had offers. I didn't like the price. I'm going to list. This is what I'm going to list. I like, got all of that out of them really early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> name it. I hear you name it. <laughs> He's like, no more comping. There's <laughs> <laughs> some comping figures over there. Man, and listen, I've seen this guy, Ilya, Ilya too, by the way, by Ilya. Right? I messed up his name for like the first nine times I met him, all right? But Ilya, um, he really like, it has developed over and became a, a real efficient close. I started talking with him. I met him at Momentum. Shout out to Alex and the family. And he, um, he, was, he was struggling a little bit. He was struggling a little bit. And then I've seen over the years. And he, he asked on the first competition, how can I be the next one? He had to put some work in. And second year, he wasn't ready. Third year, so it looks like he's ready. Did you see how he mirrored that guy's intensity right mm -hmm. off, right yep. off the gate? Yep. That, to me, it's it's just, like, that's a, that's a really good point, RJ. Because I always talk about that. Like this is you have to listen to what's coming. Right? Boom! Like bulldoze. You gotta listen mm -hmm. to if it's aggressive, if it's soft. It, conversation to be able to mirror like you're talking about. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Who is this? This is Ilya. I was looking for Tiffany. Looking for who? Tiffany. Tiffany passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I received some information. I guess maybe a family member filled out uh, some information about selling a property at 1959th Ave. Well, that's my address, bro. Remember doing anything like that? Maybe you spoke with somebody, but uh, I'm not 100% certain. If they just passed it on, they said, Hey, uh, reach out to this homeowner, see if they're interested in selling, and um, you know, present them an offer. Oh, yeah, with some of those people that come and give you one, and you're not a realtor, right? Exactly, exactly. I think, I think it's that she doesn't want to sell with a realtor, she wants to avoid that. Yeah, could it have been? Not sure. But I don't know who it could have been. <laughs> I'm not and sure. They said Tiffany. Well, it just has the name of the. I guess maybe that's. Let's pretend it was her. What's got you considering sure. selling? But uh, <laughs> is that so? Are you considering selling? Are you looking to get an offer on the property? There you go. Boom. Love maybe it. Eventually, I have to find a place. Gotcha. I mean, it, it is my place, but I have to find a place before I do. You're looking you for know. a place first, and then you're going to be able to uh, move. Uh, yeah, but I need to find a place first. I can't just go out, you know, and that's it. Of course, so, of course. You, you know, one of the benefits yeah. of working in our company is actually we offer moving services. So if you are looking to move, we can have a company come in there, pack everything for you, and transport it when you are ready to find a place to move. Um, another thing is we work with local agents that can actually get you a property, uh, you know, wherever you're looking to move to. If you're looking for a rental or you're looking to buy something, we can get you situated also, just making the process super easy. I know buying a house can be difficult. Yeah. Looks like it's a condo. We need the condo uh, number. I have your number on my phone. Can I call you back? Gotcha, gotcha. Right now is not a bad is not a good time? No, it's not a good time right now, but I have you on my phone, so can I call you back? Yeah, yeah. Call me back. I have about twenty minutes and I have to jump on a meeting. Uh if you call me after that, we'll, we'll continue the conversation. But if you call me before that'll be great just because 
Okay. All right. Look forward to speaking with if you. If I miss you, I'll get you tomorrow because I have your number on here. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Exactly. Call me on that number, okay? Okay. All right. Have a good, have a good, good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I think you missed a, a big piece here. Like, who's helping you with this right now? So you don't know who filled the form. Well, you know what? We need to put a team Janice around together. We need yeah. to be there for you. I think a, a, a good point on that is just really understanding. Not 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 try to push the cell, but just make create a solution. Say, hey, I want to go. Back. I want to get this started. Talk to my underwriting team. I just need to ask you two or three more questions, Hello. and that's it. Oh, I hate those voicemails. Those get me. <laughs> Let's, try. Let's go for it. There you go. I agree. I think she was a little you... nervous. You know what I'm saying? Like she was a little nervous. Like, you know, hey, no worries. Like, hey, yeah. real quickly, if we find a condo for you and we get you situated and make it nice and easy and we handle everything for you, is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, great. Well, let's talk about this next. And what number would you want if I can help you? Get her mentally thinking yeah. about detaching from the product. I like I like that question. Is that what you're looking for? Because a lot of times when you solid solution, but when you when you when you provide and you apply the solution to them really fast, sometimes they take it as you're just trying to close them or make them do business with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think in the dialogue, in the dialogue, especially when a lady like that, so she's a little older. I like to make sure I just get a couple micro agreements, get a conversation going, talking back and forth. And then when she said, I got to, um, okay. let me ask you, if I call you back in five minutes, because I, we're looking at another property in this area. And the reason why we're talking right now, because somebody filled up this form. And the last thing I want to do is take the cash I had and give to one of your neighbors. You wouldn't want that either, would you? And then hopefully that compels her to stay on the call. I really liked how different he handled that call from the first one. Showed, showed his ability to, I mean, you're going to say you're a real estate solutions company. You better be able to handle different personalities and be able to do that with those first two. Yeah. Um, also, just uh, hopefully he's muted me at this point so he can't hear me. <laughs> Any, That's what I'm all right, he can't hear me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think he's already, in my opinion, the rapport side of things has been stronger than what I saw with Jen. Because of how he was able. Hey, Raul. What's happening, man? This is Ilya. Where? From, uh, from Finest Homes. I got some information. You're looking to sell your property there in Patterson? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, yo. I'll get that like two days ago. Like, sorry, sorry. I've been traveling, so I finally got to all the calls, and I apologize I missed it, but did I catch it about time? Yeah, actually, yeah, because I'm trying to go watch my son's birthday. I'm taking him out to eat. So if you want, you can uh, give me a call tomorrow or something. Let me ask you this. Since I got you on hold, you have like two minutes. I want to just ask you a basic yeah, couple yeah, questions right, just yeah. to see if this property even fits our criteria and if we're right fit for you. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, with this property, are you living there? Is this vacant? Or are you rented out? No, with... no, I'm living there. I'm living on the second floor. That's a two family then. It's a three family. Three family. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, and all the other units are. Um, they're what's it called? They're rented out? Yeah, they have the first and the third. Then I got a finished basement with two bedrooms. They're rented out as well. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, what's got you considering selling this thing? And I know it says, like, I don't know if this is correct information. And the notes, it says divorce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, we're getting separated. It's under both of our names. Gotcha, gotcha. And is she okay selling? Is she on, on, on board? Yeah, actually, I'm trying to get her on board, but she said, yeah, that's fine. So she does want to sell. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Any idea what you're looking to get for this property? Because I'm an investor, you know, it's all about the numbers. It's got to make sense for, for us, and the cash flow has got to be there. So I want to make sure we're the right fit for you. I know you're kind of busy. Yeah, well, well, we, put, uh, we listed it for 595 and, uh, and we was dealing with this realtor. 595 with the realtor? Yeah. Is it, so it's yeah. listed on the market right now? No, it's not listed anymore because we're, not, we're, no, we're no longer working with it. She wasn't able to sell it, huh? No, she was actually. A couple people came by, but the problem is now with the this house is more for better, especially now with the interest rate up. It's better more for an investor or a conventional home. FHA people were trying to buy it, and so the interest rate is so high they were the money wasn't for well, the for the, the the renting wasn't enough to cover for the mortgage. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, yeah. that that makes sense. So so the rent. Yeah. 
What? How much money does it make a month? Like with all the units combined? Well, right now it's making like uh, three thousand, just about thirty one fifty. But that's because we're not over, we're not overcharging either. You know, we've people been living here for years, so we've just been up in the rent. That's, that's I agree. Like, I agree. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's hard. You're better off keeping the rent a little lower and having a good tenant that's going to pay you. Yeah, then. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I mean, yeah. with that number, are you able to flex on the price? Because obviously, that's if you're going to list it, that's what you were getting. That's why you were getting all these FHA buyers. They're, you know, they're going to obviously live there. They're going to overpay and everything else like that. As an investor, we have to have some equity when we go in this property. We might do some updates and then, you know, either refinance it out or not sure. He's doing good positioning the car. He's he's controlling yeah, the car well. Well, you guys come look at it or something like that. So initially, we do a phone call like this. We gather some information. I run my numbers to get an idea where I need to be. If we come to a verbal agreement, then we go send somebody out to take a look at it. Uh, you know, do like a ver uh, visual inspection, an idea of like, yeah. okay. how long have you owned the property for? I've been there for 16, 17 years now. Is there a mortgage or is it fully paid off? No, no, it's a mortgage. You know, because it was my mother's house. She passed it out. She was, uh, Ooh. So I was when I searched it. So, so we inherited. Were so many years, I didn't want to lose it. So me and my girlfriend jumped on it. You caught it up on and everything else, yeah, huh? Yeah, we bought it for, bought it for 190 a short sale, and now we refinance it once one time, and so we owe about two ninety. How long ago did you refinance? Three years. Three years ago. So what's your interest rate like? Uh, like no, four, five point two around there. Five point two. I mean, yeah. it's better than than before. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, just so trying to. When we first got it on short sale, it was really good. It was like at three, you know. But yeah. We no, no, I feel you, man. We got this, we got this out in 2015. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. The other option we have here, typically with like rentals and stuff, and when somebody gets a good interest rate, we have a program that we do. It's like a mortgage takeover where we just take over the payments. How much are your payments a month on this property? I'm thinking like, like 26, 2700. No, it's actually three, three thousand sixty nine. Three thousand sixty nine, and that's all. That's yeah. paying taxes, mortgage, and insurance. Everything, yeah. Exactly. Gotcha. 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 That makes sense. And then you, you live in one of the units, so you were practically living for free. But for me as an investor, yep. I would rent that yeah. unit and make, you know, an additional 1500 to $2,000. I know that. I know uh, that's what I wanted to do. But, you know, now you know, I have to pay for buying her. I would have done that. Gotcha. So, I mean. Yeah, I, don't want to I, would, I would like to keep her investment, but, you know, right now things are tight. Yeah. Yeah. The economy is not doing the best, man. So I know yeah. it's it's hitting everybody. It's affecting my yeah. family too. So I feel your pain. Have yeah. you said how much he's wanted for it? Are you um? So you bought it for one ninety. Then you refinanced for two ninety. Yeah, we know we refinanced. It went up to two, like to uh, two two ninety or to almost three hundred. But then what happened was the forbearance. We took a forbearance. We so it's like we own right now about. First one we should I'm, no I'm lying when we refinanced it went up to like two fifty two sixty and then we did that for Barrett it went up to like to like sixty thousand in the back end of the back of the mortgage. Yep yep yep. So it's like so three twenty right now give or take. No no basically right now no right now so it's been like it's probably like like two ninety five. Two ninety five and I know you had it listed uh, uh, over there for like five hundred and change. We owe the two forty-five for parents. It went up to three hundred, three hundred and some change. But now we brought it back down to like maybe like two ninety, two ninety-two around there. We owe okay, basically no mortgage. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So that's the final number. And how much are you looking to get? Let's say that the mortgage gets paid off. What are you and your ex? What are you guys looking to get in your pocket? How much are you looking to walk away with? I mean, right there, doing all that with the numbers, we should be walking away after after like fees and everything about one. One thirty a piece. One thirty a piece to two sixty. So you you owe you said two two. Can you repeat that number you owe? I'm sorry because there was a lot of numbers. Like two ninety something. Two ninety and change. Two ninety six. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so two ninety six plus you want one fifty a piece. You said. Yeah. So that's like another three hundred. So we're looking at uh, what is it, like five ninety six. So you're looking to get like top dollar for this thing, and yeah. Uh, exactly. yeah. And you tried it with the realtor. I mean, that's that's usually the best way to sell. If the property will sell any other way and it's in good condition, it will sell. But unfortunately, you had a lot of negative feedback where these people didn't qualify, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if, if we're able to um, see uh, see what to call it, let me uh, let me ask you this: When um, 
when you're looking at, the, at this property and looking to get it sold, let me ask you, is, is, is it something you're, you're willing to do, do like a mortgage takeover? Because I'm sure when you sell this thing, you're looking to rent for a little bit or, right? Yeah, yeah. My, my, my plan is to rent for a little bit, then try to look for uh, Donald. Gotta find out what his immediate cash need is ASAP. Where's going to go next to? Where's going to yeah. spend the money at? Yeah. 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 Connect him to the property. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, and, hmm. things like that. I mean, that's the what they want to want. Your, your name, or is it in yeah, your – both your names? There's a walk-away number. So, but if, we, if we're able to come up, you know, I don't I – don't, see myself paying the 595 because even on the market it didn't sell for that and obviously i explained we need to have some equity in it right we need to have yeah, some yeah, equity we still got about like 300 in equity oh yeah yeah if we're able to pay pay well take over your mortgage start making payments every month i go in there take over the property um and continue to pay it rent it out maybe even update it and we um we make you guys monthly payments instead of getting your whole money right away because you understand since it's a multifamily and you live there, um, you know, for only a couple of years, they're going to hit you with some capital gains taxes. You have to pay at the end that you sold this property. Um, you know, rather than doing that, we pay the people little by little. So you're like becoming the bank, essentially. So I'm taking over your mortgage and I'm financing your your um, uh, money that you're looking to get. So rather than getting like 160, 160, I'm thinking I put some money down. For you guys, you know, so to have in your pocket, and then in the next over ten years, I'll stretch it out, to, you know, with some payments over that. Is that something you sure. want to do? I don't know. I have to talk to her about that. Gotcha. Is she looking to just cash out, like get the money, and that's it? Yeah, yeah. She wants to leave. But that didn't happen. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, to your point, RJ. Okay. I mean, okay, okay, but I mean. As as a buyer, what would you do? What, what, what would you? What, what would you if, if I'm buying this thing cash, honestly, yeah. mm -hmm. realistically, just to get this thing done, no more showings, no more headaches. I, I probably got to be around like four four thirty five. I'm thinking. Oh no! No. No. no, no. And if I'm able to go up to like four fifty cash no, and get this. No, no, no. To your point, RJ, if he would have had Prop up or Zillow, desperate to tackle the 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 the, uh, the listing. Uh, well, you're still gonna make money, right? Because it's two ninety five. You can hit the and list. And then you got one hundred fifty thousand. Into so the price anchor with other properties. Uh, a piece. Yeah. You get seventy five thousand for you for your ex and for yourself. Hmm. They were only gonna want with five fifty when they. Yeah, the mortgage takeover. I mean, if she's okay with it, is that something you would be interested in? I mean, it's, but then, you know, look, then you won't be able to motivate them. Let's say you need the money in your cash in your hand so like, that you could be able to. Let me ask you, what would be your mean cash loan? Need but if it's like right that, now. then I, it won't I mean, be able to. Maybe 24 months, you won't be the expert. Not, maybe another food, payment. Uh, it's really convenient. Exactly. I'm trying exactly. to buy them the house ASAP. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you yeah. tried listing it, and that's like usually the main way to sell. I mean, and it didn't work. So. What would you? Be, you don't have us muted. What What are you gonna do <laughs> now? Because, uh, as investors, everyone, everyone, <laughs> and their mom's gonna come in. You know, much lower. <laughs> yeah, Naaman wants to close them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'll see because I, the house is still worth up there. Because uh, we were talking to some other people. I just, I just, I just wanted to see what you guys would and get some information from how you guys work. But you know, I got these people that there are some uh, brokers and they work with realtors and stuff like that. They were gonna list it at. Uh, five sixty to work their way up because they say you never put a house high, you always put it lower, and then see so who starts bidding and let the people bid, the buyers, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah, I still got this number, but you know, it's like that. But yeah, I mean. Well, keep keep in mind this: uh, most people don't un, don't they don't uh, realize when they sell a property, they have to pay a broker their uh, their commission. Minus, yeah, no, you know, with this, no. So let's say you sell at 560. You have to keep in mind, you're still going to walk away with like 6% commission. You're going to do a 2% closing cost, 2% transfer taxes and any concessions, which are when somebody does inspection, they'll say, Hey, I don't like the kitchen. I want to update the kitchen. Let's get, you know, give me $20,000 towards the repairs. So people always do that when we go retail with our deals. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so like in reality, the broker's promising you like 560. You you probably gonna walk away 
you know, 490, 480. I'm just trying to get this thing done for you at 450 cash. No, no, he said, he said, he said after taxes and everything, he said we'll probably be looking, walking away with each other, like with 110 each. 110 each. And I said, we don't know, 110 each. We were trying to, he said after taxes and everything. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you see, so so what I'm telling you, it definitely has some logic. So this is, but it's not the one you that you're looking for. So you're okay you getting one to bring it back and tie it up. And you, there's no guarantee you might sell in 30 days or six months or a year, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but we still haven't that make. We still haven't signed any papers yet. We were, we were just, they just, we just called. And they came over to people, a girl and a guy. And they showed us the booklet and gave us a whole bunch of stuff and how they work and all this. And they showed they compared houses around the area with my house. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, it sounds like... <sighs> the, only, the only thing that delayed it for me calling him to keep moving forward because she just... My ex just... She was first uh, for work for a job for almost two years. So then now she just got a job. So she wants to like... She's like, wait, give me like at least a month or two like that before we really sell and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. I already called... Yeah, but I called to find out information to see what you guys... How you guys work because of anything. I mean, you know, if you give me a good offer, I mean, I'll talk to her about it, but that, like, walking away with 75 each now, it's not good for that. I'd rather keep it. I mean, if we're able to do, like, 90 each, but... Because I'm trying to refinance, and the thing is, when I refinance, you need to keep, like, my uh, debt to rent, rent, debt to rent um, ratio was too high because I, I got a, oh, a couple credit cards and things like that. So I wanted to get out of debt, like, so yeah. I'm trying to refinance, but I needed another cosign and she wasn't working at the time. I have another idea. Tell me, what do you think about this? If we're able to get you guys close to that 100000 each and do a mortgage takeover, is that something you would do? It's called a hybrid. You know, it's, it's, we're doing a mortgage takeover and putting some money in your pocket with a private lender. You know, we're going to be Gotta using private capital that we have um, to get you guys paid out, but we're going to keep your low interest in place and uh, rent that place out. Is that something you got to be interested in? I gotta see. I gotta. I gotta. Like I said, I gotta talk to her. See what she thinks. What is that called? Mortgage or uh... mortgage takeover? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mhm. Mm Let's pay game pay the both for us like what monthly? Well, what is like each person gonna get? No, the other option I just present to you. We'll get when we buy the house. The mortgage would stay in place. Yeah. The title will transfer to to our company name, but we would pay you cash. Okay. To walk away. To walk away. Yeah, close to 100. I would say like 95 to 100, yeah. But, then the, the, but the mortgage would stay in our name, though. It would stay in your name, exactly. Uh, but what it's doing is, you know, it's obviously increasing your credit score. There's some benefits in that. Uh, you, there, you know, monthly mortgages are being made. And uh, the debt to income ratio is going down also. Gotcha. And if she says okay, is that something like you'll be interested in? Then I gotta think about. It's the same thing that you're gonna make as with a realtor, except I'm doing it, you know, with with an investor, and we get it done in 30 days once title clears. Yeah. Well, something I have to think about. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I think just say it and tell you. Yeah, and then you know, like you know, I gotta. Yeah, that makes sense. It's fine. Is there is there is anything in particular that got you thinking? Like, usually think about it means like I have a question and I'm not sure. So feel free to ask me anything. No, no. The thing is because the, the, right now, like I said, right. So we got a title thing. Like I, I would like to to get that. Okay, I, I wouldn't be able to do that because the same owner gets to another house. I wouldn't be able to with that mortgage. Yeah, you would have to, exactly. Most likely, we would have to rent for a little bit before you do that. That makes sense. All right, so let's do this, man. Talk to her, see what she says, and let's get back together. We'll go from there. All right, no problem, man. You just got to see, you'll come up with a, with a better price. I mean, cash. Mm -hmm. Cash is king, but you know what? It comes with a price. The offer is like a 450 That's cash. And I, I'll close it in a week if the title comes back. You know? It's yeah, just yeah. quick. That's what it is. It's... That's how it works. You want it done quick, it's got to get... If not, we have to get creative and do the hybrids and, and the mortgage takeovers. No, I understand. I understand. No worries. No worries, man. It's good talking to you. All right? I'll catch you later. Feel free to give me a call back. What's your name again? My name is Ilya. 
Ilya, Ilya. Right. It means Elijah in Russian. Elijah, all right. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Shout out to the reason why I liked him. There's a reason why I liked you. All right. All right. <laughs> 49 seconds. I'm going for the next one. Let's see. I'm going to get one more. Go and get one more. Hello. Please leave your message for eight. Well, well, well. Listen, the competition is getting stiff. Here's the deal. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. I bet you, Jen, right now is kind of like, yes, I still got a shot. Still got a shot because she got a solid score. You got to got to keep in mind now the way this thing works. You know, it's all about who closes the deal. And we haven't heard anybody close a deal. Heard a lot of skills, a lot of good skills, but nobody has closed the deal. So that means this competition is still brand new. Anything is literally possible right now. Listen, we got our judges. Scoring right now. Listen, I think RJ is done. Elijah is getting close to being done. Max is done. So I'm ready to get to it. I want to hear. But before we even get to them, put in the chat what you think. I want to hear your thoughts specifically. The reason why that's so important, you want to do it first. Because I don't want y'all copying off of what RJ got to say and what what Elijah got to say. I want to hear your raw thoughts on what you just witnessed. Um, but let's go ahead and get my judges up and let's, let's see what they got to say about this. This is, this was an interesting, uh, 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 calls that we just got through, uh, checking out. Yo, yo, man, Max. that was amazing. He went all in on the last call. Woo I was, I was like, let's go. Um, he you know, you obviously heard some of the, some of the, uh, conversations, but let's get to the scorecard here. Um, you know, he did, he did it well. Um, when I look at report building, I always look at it as, you know me, man, like moving the self forward and, and, and uncovering what's the motive, right? Not just to talk about. And I think, and, and that comes with uh, uh, getting to the emotional side of things, not just logical conversation. And I saw a lot of that from him. He moved to very fast to logical conversation. And I gave him a three on building report. Hell of a negotiator. I gave him a four. Um, obviously I'm tough. I don't give too many people fives <laughs> creative option. Um, you know, I, I like when you provide a creative option and it's very clear and concise where you don't have to explain it like three or four times. Gave him a two on that. Definitely handle objections like a champ. Um, you know what I mean? I think he did really well on that. And going back to my first initial comment about building rapport, he didn't identify a lot of pain. So I give him a one on pain and that's my scorecard right there in my breakdown no means taking away from his skills you know but that's that's the way i looked at that whole session i love it i love it hey i think that was fair uh thank you so much for that max man let's go ahead and get my guy elijah up to see where we at man yes all these years i know my guy i didn't know his name was elijah in russian <laughs> was every day all right no but that, that that it was solid call like I said, I seen him graduate. Um, definitely proud of the guy making moves. Um, yeah, let's get the scorecard up. Yeah, you know, I, I could kind of go over what I saw there too. Um, so I gave him a four for building rapport. I, although he, he had a unique way of doing rapport, I felt like he built good rapport, especially that first call. Got the guy laughing. Anytime you get the seller chuckling within the first 30 seconds to a minute, just like you're talking to a girl, if you get her laughing, she might give you her number. Same thing That's as the a seller. Fact. <laughs> Same thing, Jenny. You know, you know the vibes. Um, negotiations. I felt like um, I gave him a three on negotiations. I felt like he uh, went back and forth, especially on that last call. So he, he kind of dug in a little bit more. Uh, was kind of breaking down um, the numbers of what it's going to take, retail expenses. I think that's really a good part 
and help the sellers kind of reduce what it doesn't matter what you sell it for. All matters how much you walk away with. I think he get, kind of got that dialed in for him. Creative options um, on the second call. He gave um, a creative option on this call. He went to subject two program on top of a seller finance. So I gave him a three points for that. Um, handling the objection. I don't feel like he handled the objection as strong as I think he could have. So I gave him only a two for those. And identifying pain, I feel like he could have really dug in more on the divorce. Uh, I, I would have definitely talked about the divorce. How does that make him feel? Uh, when it, how good would it feel to just finally get a clean break? What would that What would that mean for you? Um, and so I gave him a three for that. So 15 total. Well, listen, those are some solid numbers. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to see what my guy RJ comes with. Thank you so much for that, Elijah. Uh, for dropping those gems as well as those scores. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, RJ up. Man. Yeah, I was uh, I was impressed with Ilya. I thought he did a really good job on all three of his calls. Uh, I thought he did a really good job with marrying each seller. Very impressed on the third call where he was able to keep the seller on the phone. Uh, because remember, he was in the car. He was going to dinner. He wanted to get off the phone right there. That ended up being like a 22-minute long conversation. When he only had two minutes, I thought that was good. Uh, I gave him a two on rapport. Um, you know, I, I I think he did a better job on the first two calls um, on that. Uh, ne negotiations, uh, two. Um, I, I thought he did a really good job there of trying to throw out as many different things as he could there. Creative option. I had him at three at one point in time. I brought him down because the seller said, let me do some more research on that. And he was saying it's a mortgage takeover. The seller needs to go Google sub two, subject to the existing mortgage, not mortgage takeover. So that cost him two points right there. Um, identifying pain, he actually had the seller saying there at the end, this is what I need money for. This is what I need to do this for. Um, so I was I was pretty impressed with him uh, across the board. I just, we were just lacking that one little kind of close right there at the end. And he, he made his bed with that one seller. So I, I have to give him credit for that. He went for it, knowing that it was a creative option and going to be a difficult close. Wow. Well, very impressive score, right? Um, still in the game. Matter of fact, he, he, that's a really good score. So thank you so much for that, RJ. Listen, I still want to hear you guys' opinions in the chat while we bring up my guy, Ilya back to the stage so we can get an opportunity to hear your thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on this, Ilya? You, you still, you're very competitive in, in the space right now. Yeah, um, cool. What's your thoughts on the calls? What's your thoughts on the judges' reactions? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I uh, enjoyed the competition. I think it was good. The first guy who didn't want to deal with me, I was able to get through right away. He, he that was amazing, that. by the way. What is that? That was amazing, by the way. Yeah, yep, yep. And then I'm, I'm actually glad that uh, RJ picked up on that. The guy's like, yeah, I got to go. Call me tomorrow. And I was able to keep him on. Got a way to hook people. I think the judges are being being fair. Yep, I guess that's something I got to do. Um, maybe make a better uh, presentation because sometimes sub people say sub two and then homeowners like, what's sub two? They can Google it. But, hey, mortgage takeover, we usually say that to, to keep them um, like more understanding. Like, I'm just continuing to make your payments, right? So like that. But overall, yeah, I think it's a it's a great score, and uh, have a good chance here to uh, to make it to the end. Looking forward, love it, love it. Well, listen, it was a phenomenal uh, watch, brother, and uh, congrats to you. I know you're already killing it in the yeah. space in paradise, literally. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, um, matter of fact, what is that like? I, you know, I, you know, I hate to put you on the spot like that, but what is it like living in paradise and doing that many deals a year? So I, I've been here for like two years. So sometimes I have to stop myself and I like look around like I'm on an island right now. I live where people come on vacation. And I'm like, man, I am blessed. So I, so I give thanks to God. I'm like, this is this is incredible. You know, it's 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 awesome. So every time my friends take vacations there, I'm the tour guide because I, and I get them the local prices and the local hotspots. They, they all enjoy it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I've been there one time. Been there one time. I had an absolute um I had an absolute blast. So, uh, man, shout out to you and uh, keep closing deals, man. I really, really loved the call. And listen, you got 39 points. So you're 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 in the lead. Let's go from what I can see. 
So <laughs> we'll see how that pans out for the rest of the show. And uh, without no further ado, we're going to be bringing up a little bit more information on some of these leads that we get. Listen, show me a business that doesn't know how to produce leads and I'll show you somebody that's bankrupt. Show me a business that don't know how to close leads and I'll show you a business that still, you know, can stick around a little bit longer to make something happen because at the end of the day, they're at least getting a shot, right? You can suck at least one time and still be in business. But if you're not producing any leads, trust me, your business is going to be in the toilet. So shout out to Lee Zolo. And um, listen, let's bring up this video so we can check them out. Lead solo. Lead solo. Lead solo. Lead solo. Lead solo. If you're looking for hot leads, you gotta reach out. Leads from Lead Solo has been some of the best leads that I've actually called on. I can't believe the, the quality of the leads. We are using them for your leads. You need to okay. Don't have to pull list. You don't have to cold call. You don't have to talk to people that aren't interested in selling their property. We're just able to close motivated sellers. When a lead solo lead comes in, it's all hands on deck. And we know at this point that those are our best quality source for leads. If you guys aren't using them, I highly recommend them. If you want to be closing deals like the closers here at Closers Olympics, then you need to have the same hot off-market leads that they're working. I'm talking exclusive, high-quality leads of motivated sellers who actually want a cash offer delivered within 13 seconds of them filling out the form. We're not talking about marketplaces where leads are sitting and getting stale. We're talking about your phone buzzing the moment a lead comes in. And just for being here at the Closers Olympics, what we want to do at Lead Zolo is offer you your first six lead starter package for as little as $894. That is a $2,100 value for $894. Our regular price for the leads are $350, but if you sign up now, you'll be able to get these leads at $149. Plus, we'll also be able to give you the three bonuses included. So go to leadsolo.com forward slash leads to check out our bonuses and lock up a $5,391 value lead package for as little as $894. Man, shout out to Lee Zolo. Listen, at the end of the day, again, if you're not producing any leads, you are not in business. And that is a 100% fact. But listen, this competition must go on. And we got my guy Rich Wonders up next, coming straight from Phoenix, Arizona, right? Closed over 100 plus wholesale deals and novation deals, okay? So you definitely want to be taking note of some of these creative strategies, right? Because he's done wholesale and novations. That's critical. And listen, his main focus is focusing on a repeatable process, which I absolutely love, building meaningful trust, okay? And being able to identify and label and solve problems. At the end of the day, we get paid based on the problems we're able to solve and the value we're able to bring to the marketplace, and Rich Wonders is going to show us exactly how he gets this done and how he has gotten this done over a hundred times. Rich Wonders, what's going on? Yo, Byron, what's up, my man? My Excited guy. to be here, man. I love that background, man. You look like you're in heaven right now, man. No, it's fake, man. It's the Zoom background. Oh, well, whatever. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm chilling at the crib, bro. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. <laughs> So, are you finna take this thing home? Hey, look, there's some great closers in here. I'm just gonna do my best, try to work my magic. Hopefully, you know, the the lead gods will be in my favor today, but I'm gonna have fun no matter what, so. I love it. I think you got the magic. I'm trying, man, let's, let, let's see, you know? Let's get to it, let's get to it. All right. Right. Holy shit. Rich might be the coolest closer of all time. Hands down. Hands down. Look at this. Yeah, let's go. 
Hey, make sure you mute us, Rich. Make sure you're Rich. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, don't hear us. Don't hear us. But I do you like, told I me do like the hookah in the back. The hookah is on point, player. I'm like, dang. Yeah, he told right. me if he doesn't get the contract, I'm getting those Versace glasses. <laughs> oh, he let the main out today. My man looking for fly today. Let's go. Excited to hear him. How you doing, Mr. Whipple? I'm a double tap, double tap. This one's in Lake Havasu. I like Lake Havasu. Hey, uh, so while we're waiting on Rich to get a seller, to the people that were uh, upset with my my <laughs> point there, when you Google mortgage takeover, all of the results are about the repo mortgage, mortgage assumptions, not sub two. Mm. Those are two different things. That's my point. And not only Mr. that, I think, I think it has a strong, like, right. in a, in a, not negative connotation, but it's like mortgage takeover, right? Like, and, and you have to well, remember, you're, you're, you're dealing with people I'm that you know, do once or twice in their lifetime. The word matters. Come on now. I remember that. We actually Let's talk go. to somebody. So it's time doesn't start until we talk to somebody. But I think you brought up a good point, RJ, and it's really important because our industry is getting really scrutinized right now. And there's a lot of people starting out who never done any these deals and they hear competition, hear somebody else and not sent the right way, especially when they don't really understand it. They're taking whatever we're saying. They're going to the aunties, cousins and attorney generals. So let's make sure we have the right thing saying the right way. And that's what he was saying. He's like, I'm going to have to look into that more. Yeah. What's the first thing you do? Google mortgage mm-hmm. takeover. You know, that yeah. was my only point there. Outside that, that was really good. It's weird, different name than what was on there. That's cool though. I I'll say this. Um, Who's my lucky seller? N- name right. and put in the private oh, chat sure. there that the over under on my score is uh, eight moving forward. Uh, <laughs> but again, it's it's kind of hard to judge some of these calls where it's like. Nothing really came from it, you know. I mean, he has a potential lead follow up on that one. Yeah, uh, and there was also there was also in the chat um, somebody saying like, "Well, they already said what they wanted." Yeah, but what they want and what they need are different things. That's why it's important to find out what's your immediate cash need now. I'm going for my iPhone, so it should be seeing like. Let's go! I love how he's he's pumping himself up, and right. then. We'll get to that now. Give us 24 months. We'll get to the rest of it. Or, you know, yeah. try to come up with something creative like that. Yeah. So Tara's point where she said, uh, isn't the point also not, call to an automated- not to get off the call with the seller? Well, she in yes. But when oh, it comes yeah. to buying a sub two oh, yeah. seller finance hybrid, like to be honest with you, I don't want to do a one call close on that because I want them to make sure they understand that we're getting in a freaking yeah. marriage. Yeah, <laughs> that's like we're on term term commitment. Eight. We done just take one. We done chickens and we got married. That's some Vegas yeah. shit. I ain't doing all that on first time. Like, come on. Well, that's and, and you have to. We have oh, to remember my hitting the hookah. My man's hitting the hookah. You know, I love it. Oh, yo, I'm about to bring you to your side. <laughs> Okay, your point, RJ, is you're right about that because you've spent about 10 to 15 minutes negotiating a cash offer. And they're like, look, Mr. Seller, here's another solution. Right. And they ain't re- they're, they might not be in a position to really go through all that. And you're not going to negotiate a sub two hybrid deal in two minutes. And hey, dude. All right. You're, you're talking about on that. I'm gonna try. He was trying to get 200,000 seller finance on top of uh, taking over the market. 300,000 sub two, you're going to have to sit there and play with the numbers. This one's so listed for rent, rent and it's a divorce. Ooh. Oh, this sounds like a sale too. She's got that 
that sweet voice. Double down, double down. <laughs> Let's try another one here. Oh, back. I've heard some. I got a Detroit one. This is going to be in a war zone. Let's let's peep it out. I will say, <laughs> real quick, Rich, you can't hear me, right? Rich, he, okay, I don't oh, want okay. him to hear us. He's That's missing boring. something right now. He needs to for emergency reasons. Holy moly! His competitors What's didn't the have the opportunity that he has. He should have been leaving voicemails on all of these. Yeah, none of the the clock ain't running. Hundred percent. He should have been in point, it. RJ. Ben and uh, Ilya, their first dial answered. He should have left voicemails and said, "Call me Hello. back." Hey there, uh, Henry. Uh, yep, that's you. Hey, Henry. Hey, this is Rich. Uh, I got a su property submission from you on our website about your uh, place in Detroit. How's it going? Oh yeah. Um, I I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, it's going pretty good. Um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, you weren't thinking about it. Yeah, we but we buy quite a bit in Detroit. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm kind of a glorified information gatherer, but. I am the fastest in the West and better than the rest. I just got to run through like a, the questions and uh, I, I definitely can pass it on to the powers that be and see if we might be a match. I think you just there. put the address in the uh, main comments. Uh, yeah, so, Elijah, uh, is, is he just put the address in the main, in the public. Getting the house. Um, you got to be the, the fastest in the, red, in the West. <laughs> like three things to do on the checklist stuff before they release the full ownership to me so i have to get the bathroom together get the kitchen together like we completely gutted this house um all new drywall you know all new uh pretty much everything um new roof new siding new windows uh the whole outside looks completely different um, wow Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was total re got out. I got pictures and everything of us taking off the old stuff, putting on the new. Uh, oh, that's that's great. Yeah, I saw you 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 picked that thing up for like a thousand bucks, right? Yeah, yep, Detroit Lane Bank, yep. Um, wow. I mean we probably got a decent amount into it, like uh you know, we got some wood, we got obviously the roof, the siding, um you know, all the floors are ripped up. We're putting all the new wood down for the floors. Uh, it's pretty much at that point. Uh, the bathrooms still not together, and then the kitchen. So I have to do both of them, and then get a furnace and a hot water tank. But I'm onto some work. I hit a little bump in the road. I actually just lost my mobility uh, my car. So. But I'm still getting. Uh, I'm going to be just picked up for work now, and I'm slowly That's getting. It it. I love it. I actually might not be able to sell as soon as I thought. With this uh, whole new problem I ran across with the whole no car thing, that's going to take me back on my bills, and I'm not just. I'm not going to be able to find you know get the furnace in or whatever. But I'm still looking possibly to sell in the next month, and I definitely want to get a price down. Uh, Obviously, it could change. I understand that. Um, oh, okay. No, I appreciate you being so so direct and transparent. And I can tell you this: uh, we specialize in speed and convenience and creating win-win scenarios. So, like, I'll be straight up: I don't have a dog in the fight. Um, anything we can do, if we do work together, uh, I'll definitely. You know, we're creative problem solvers. We can kind of work it around your needs. So this is not an uncommon. Like, I was gonna, I was, what I was proposing, I was trying to go, like I went on Facebook Marketplace. So I know I, he's closed a lot of deals. Right now, um, now, my one thing I don't like is using uh, the, like the word kinda, kind of a lot, just because it doesn't really assure the seller, right? And not taking away anything from it does, just me, just my opinion. I, I'm not a big fan on that word. Yeah. I mean, they're only helping really with the. Uh, uh, Let's get the paperwork ready. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, hit that hookah. Hit that hookah. <laughs> okay. It needs is a stove to pass and a microwave. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they run you through hoops. So, like, I got to be compliant with them until I can get released on the property. But Okay. Yeah. 
So you is, know is it my understanding there's like some strings strings attached with the current ownership scenario? You have to. Um, so basically, um, they give you a checkoff list. Once you complete the checkoff list, you get full ownership of the property. Uh, I'm basically, like I said, I got the kitchen, the bathroom, but I'm, I'm going to be slow working out. So this, like, I totally wasn't thinking about this. You know, the car thing hit. I was like, I need to sell the house. I still want to sell it. It just might not be for a few months. Ah, uh, so or two months, you know. am I hearing you right that the work has to be completed before they'll allow the title to transfer? Right. Uh, but it's, he doesn't know how Detroit land bank work. The work. The work doesn't have to be finished. Like it doesn't have to be a finished kitchen. They want to see a microwave and a uh, sink. Like I could even. I don't know if it has to be working. I think I could just set it in here. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, complete work before I can sell it. Okay. They just want to see it's getting livable. Okay, there's a sink there. There's a bathroom. There's a toilet. You know, like that that's all they want to see. Sure. But I can leave the rest of the drywall completely out and just sell it as is still. Okay. And I'm still probably I'm I'm like I said, I'm I'm a really low one, like probably like fifteen to eighteen grand. And that's like super low. Sometimes you gotta interject yourself, right? And yeah, he's doing uh, he's not uh, uh, wow. have have you been doing everything yourself or have you had been hiring some people? Yeah. Nope, I, uh, we did everything ourselves. We put the windows in. We put all the wood that we did. Uh, was done I ourselves. personally have the MAO hire. Uh, payment towards. So you have it at our job? I'm falling out with the guy that we're working for. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys got like work crews out here. I was even willing to propose that. I come and work for a day or two for someone, and then, you know, you would help get the bathroom together, per se. So that way, it ain't a total loss, you know what I'm saying? Sure. However much I would need to work for someone to help, you know what I'm saying? Like, do sure. the bathroom, okay, I want two, two and a half days of labor for you. Okay. And come help do your bathroom. Or something like that. I don't know if you talk to the crews personally or if that's available. I'm in a tight spot, man. I take my car. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do any and everything I can to try to sell this house quicker to get my mobility back. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, man, my heart definitely goes out to you. I've, I've been in that position before, and it never, it never happens at a good time. So, no, I didn't. I literally, I had two job interviews, uh, one set for Monday and one set for this Friday at a roofing company for thirty-seven fifty an hour to start with a uh, uh, ten plus dollar bonuses after you reach ninety days. So if I would have lasted, yeah, days, I would have got almost a ten dollar raise on top of it. Oh wow! So I've been making almost fifty dollars now. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, I, I got to ask you, is there any sort of timeline or deadline they put on you to get the work done? Um, there is, but they're pretty lenient on it. Um, like, you know, you call them and be like, hey, I need another week. You know, DTE wasn't. Uh, well, but actually, that's a funny story. DTE actually took seven months to hook up my power. I'm filling out the paperwork right now. Wow. Months. Nice. I like my confidence. I like it. I like I'm actually I actually just got done on the phone with a lawyer and they said I have a possible case. I'm like the contract to change. I was staying at hotels that was costing me my car payment every month. I lost my car. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear yeah, that, man. A hotel is like three seventy or three twenty five a week. Wow. Yeah, that adds up fast for sure. Yeah. Okay. Not a lot alone, you know, all my other bills are not much. Wow. Well, um, I'm very 
I'm very happy that we cross paths because. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it does need a little bit of work. He's, he's controlling the whole conversation. Eighteen times, if you had, you know. Got him with the time constraint. You don't have to do anything but drywall and insulation. <laughs> Right. Did, did you did you have an idea like let's say hypothetically if we hired out contractors to get to get everything livable? How much do you think that would cost? Um, I mean, like it depends. Uh, like I find stuff on my like Craigslist and like you know, like uh, marketplace, Facebook. I can find a water heater for fifty bucks or free, or I can go buy a brand new one. You know. But I, you know, I usually try the marketplace. So I'll sit there and look and look and try to get the cheapest thing I can just to get it going. You know, it breaks down and buy new. Okay. And if you could wave a magic wand and everything went perfect, kind of like an ideal scenario, like how quickly would you like to see this deal taken care of and, and over with, and the money in your oh, bank account? Soon, as soon as possible. I mean, as okay. soon as possible. Like, okay. Like, I don't even uh, understand. Uh, oh, sure. Okay. Because I'll, I'll just shoot you straight because you've been very transparent with me, very forthright. Definitely appreciate that. Like, keep in mind, I'm, I'm not a decision maker. I'm not the one that writes the checks, but I do know that they, you know, follow the Fannie Mae appraisal guidelines, which basically is comparing like properties in the immediate area that have sold recently. And I'll be honest, like, here's my concern is I'm looking in the area and even just on Tacoma Street, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting like six properties that have sold for like a thousand. There's a couple that have sold for two, three thousand. Yeah, that, that's all the land bank, though. Yeah. So, any, and, you know, other, anybody can get a house, but to get a house fully put back, you know, basically put back together, all these houses have been stripped, stripped of their copper, stripped of anything good in them, drywall, neat roofs. Like I said, this one's brand new. It has a full redone roof, just put on, not even a year old, um, siding, final siding, brand new metal. Sell me, baby, sell me. You know, so this one is a little bit better than the rest because it's already done. And I'm just looking to get paid off of what I did to the house and my time paid. Okay. Uh -oh. I, I talked to another person and they said, like, if that house was fully put together, he was talking 45, 50 grand. So, were you talking to RJ? <laughs> yeah, RJ Bates. He's not pay, listening. You, know, you gotta pay someone to install it, obviously. You know, probably around four grand for the furnace. But this is um, this is why we say like. There's got to be points where you got to interject yourself because 30 minutes um, in the car, you're going to find this out, and that's where you don't want to be at. Right. He's, waiting, he's allowing the guy to, to take and too much time on the call. When you're just at home making calls, cool. Competition, you got to cut off. Exactly. That's what I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it's not. Like for the list that they give you. Right. When you first get it, you gotta board up all the windows. You have to send them pictures of it. You that. might if you can overcome the um, um I probably am that he wants to fix it up. Twenty yard dumpsters of trash. Wow. It <laughs> took like two weeks, yeah. <laughs> yes, you're you're incredible. You put a roof on siding. Man, I can barely change a light bulb. So that's that's off to you. We're in two different categories for sure. And, 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 you know, it's not you better close it. He's put all his eggs on this one. Yeah. Up, baby. He's in it. He's in it. Uh, to win it, that's what he does. Understandable. I'm, just, I'm not looking to make a million dollars. Like I said, fifteen. I mean, I feel like fifteen is a really good price for the house. 15? That's pretty much already done. Like I said, so the, the living room is drywall so insulated. Um, the kitchen is drywall and insulated. I have some drywall left here, which I could probably, I'm gonna probably be able to do the bathroom. <laughs> oh, you know? get depressed! Get depressed! 
Ask them if you want to cook them. Sell me. Sell me, baby. I'm going to get to where it's kind of you can walk in with this drywall and, you know, you might have to still do a little tinker here, tinker there. You know, I do got a little electrical out. I can only picture a dog tinkering everywhere. I'm going to get down there, too. The power's on, gas is on. They re dug the gas line out, put all new gas. Uh, About to cut them off in a minute. Water's all packed. That's what I mean. This house is like pretty much there. It needs a little bit of TLC. I need a little, you know, a little bit of funding, a little bit of TLC. And this thing. A gorilla glue the house. <laughs> okay. Well, let, let me ask you this. See you, Tyler. If hypothetically, right, if we were able to make make an offer on the property that was maybe a creative offer. Cause it sounds like at the point we're at right now, you selling it cash isn't an option, right? Because the work's not complete. Right. Okay. Well, I would be, I would be in agreement to like maybe uh, writing up some paperwork or however it would have to work. Or like I said, even if I could trade. Work, Already wrote it up work with you guys for a little bit because I have a lot of experience, you know, that would be a... Okay. <laughs> no, that's that's excellent. And, you know, that would be an option. Um, we, I know we also... Two days or whatever it would cost, you know, to help me out on this guy. Okay. And what do you think would be the minimum amount of cash that you would need for materials and stuff to get it up the code to be able to be sold. Here we go. Now we're dialing in. Yeah, yep. Like I said, it wouldn't even have to be up to code as far as like other things. <laughs> Cash tape uh, okay. restoration. They don't necessarily like, <laughs> and then the back three rooms, they don't even want to see them. Like we leave them completely on drywall. Um, they want to see the bathroom working basically. So you can go poo and pee and go down and take a shower. Um, keep keep going back to that. They want to see this. They want to see that. Got to get them to be comfortable with selling the property. Okay. That and if okay, all right. we're so thinking, we're thinking, I know you said the furnace you're thinking might be four or five grand. The I mean, it depends. I don't know if you got, you know, your guy might come in here and be like two thousand, a thousand dollars for the furnish, you know, and a thousand for me to install it. I okay. Don't know. I haven't did or priced on any AC or HVAC, so. Okay, fair enough. And to be completely honest, I, I have no idea <laughs> myself. Because yeah, it's a smaller house, so I don't think you would need nothing super crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, <laughs> did you have an idea, like, if we came in, we fronted the money to do the repairs, we had some sort of agreement in place that we would sell it once it was sellable. Did you have, like, a bottom line? in mind for kind of like I, that ideal scenario? Yeah, I, I literally just want like 15, 18. Um, and I feel like uh, for the work we did, you know, that's pretty simple. Like I said, I don't want to go super crazy. Be like, I want 50 GDs, you know? And I want to leave room for you guys to make money. Well, well I appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that. Okay. And I mean, Hypothetically, if an offer came in nine to thirteen, is, is there any any wiggle room in there? If it was cash, definitely I would be more into that because I mean, I, like I said, I just gotta get a big vehicle or at least vehicle or something, you know? Sure. So I'd definitely be into that. Um, okay. Yeah, if it was cash, definitely. Is here my here's my thoughts because I'm writing to my team right now as we're talking. I'm kind of putting in notes. Um, we we buy a ton of properties both in Michigan and in several states around the country. So we have all the data and the tools and everything to make quick decisions. You know, I was telling you we're the fastest in the West and better than the rest. Like <laughs> sometimes we're so fast it it blows people's minds a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm looking into this. And we do offer a creative option that, from what I've seen, it looks like it may be the only thing that would work in this scenario outside of you no. getting some sort of hard money loan or, or some private money. Okay. Um, this is what we call the concierge service. Now, with the concierge service, 
the way that it works, he said he wanted 18, right? Like experience 18 to 13. Where basically, we had work the MAO with number. third party, and we have local partners. What's going on? They're directly in Detroit. Wants to that basically have thing, crew, I guess. Have and everything. connections, have everything that would be needed for us to complete this and get you, you know, get you paid. But basically, before it could be sold, right, we would have to go under agreement first. And then that would allow us to, to start on the work. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not sure if that would be something that you would be involved with or not. Like I would have to speak, you know, speak to the team to see how they handle yeah, that. That would be, yeah, that would be totally fine. You know, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I love your energy. And for you to do all that stuff by yourself as a one man band, that's pretty incredible. So definitely hats off to that. I did have some help. Like I said, I'm trying to. Uh, I did. I did have a partner. I was supposed to be helping me do all this, but he kind of just being loose. Uh, like I said, I had a rough spot with work. I wasn't working. Uh, I was only working like one day a week, and finally got some pickup. Work started picking up, and I just kind of suit my car. <laughs> the worst of the worst, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, and I. So if we were able, if we were able to front the money to get, get the stuff done, that's the reason we were able to come in, give you 12,000 net to seller. Once all the work was complete, let's say you didn't have to lift a finger or spend a penny on any of the, any of the projects. Would that be something? Is there anything that would stop you from getting this done today? No, as long as it would be done, uh, like cash money, as far as uh, like no check or like the last place I did, he said the same thing, and they literally wrote me a check because the lady when I went there I was like, I don't know, I don't know, and I'm like. Y'all said cash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, as long as it's cash money, I, I know it's probably hard to get that, but I just, um, because here's the way it would have to go, right? Because we couldn't cash you out on the house until the work was completed, just because of the stipulations on it, on how it was bought, right? However, what we could do is I'd set you up for a 60 day close. That would give us enough time to get everything done. You wouldn't have to spend any money. You wouldn't have to be involved with any of that. And we basically uh, would handle would handle the work. You can continue your job search and everything, right? Because um, I'll be honest, like the workers that they that they hire, normally they're looking for, you know, they already have pre existing crews most of the time. So it's just a little bit of a logistic weirdness to it that that may not may not end up being a fit. Well, when I said come. For trade, I meant work like other properties, like you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay. And you're like for say, like okay, we're gonna charge you no thousand dollars to do that stuff in the back. Seven minutes. We gotta reel this in. I have the contract ready. I just gotta transition this. It's gonna be kind of awkward. Or whatever you know, whatever your pay guy scale is, until maybe I'll do half a week. You pay me, and then you know. Or something, you know, I'm just trying to get out the, oh. just trying to get back on my feet, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and you know what? Wow. I just got a response back from my underwriting team. They've, they've been underwriting everything while I'm on the phone with you. Holy smokes. Hey, uh, your email I have as, um, as Henry John the third, right? I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot this. I'm gonna shoot this over to you right now, and I just want to review this together. Give me one second. I'm gonna fire this off. It's gonna be coming from Rich Wonders. It's gonna say, "Please DocuSign." Have you used DocuSign before? Uh, say it one more time. I'm sorry, you broke up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm gonna be shooting this over via DocuSign. Have you used DocuSign before? Okay, awesome. Yep, I just sent it. If you can check your email for me, please. And then uh, it's company policy that we just review everything together. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me, you know, feel free to jump in and stop me at any point. 
but I'll just kind of run, I'll run through all the hot points here, make everything real easy here. All right, yeah, sorry, my phone's slow. No problem. Yep, okay, I see, I got you here. Oh, and, oh, you know what? Oh, okay, I just pulled up the wrong thing on my end. I thought I sent you the wrong agreement, but I'm just looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so, uh, and you're gonna have to hit okay a couple times to get into the actual document. It'll ask if you, uh, uh, agree that you're on like electronic signing platform. So I'll give you a quick rundown here. Okay. So basically this will be a as is for sale and purchase contract. So what we're going to do is we're going to agree to buy the property, but I'm setting out the closing 60 days to give us enough time to uh, get everything complete and get everything lined up. Okay. Um, and you'll see right there, the uh, total amount that you're getting. And actually, I can't even see it on my end. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, so you'll be receiving every penny of $11,000. Um, and that would be without you having to do any work or pay for anything. The closing we have set for on or before 60 days. Um, and I'll just go over a few of the other details real go, quick. Come on, relevant, buddy. Give me one second. My computer just I love to hear people close. Okay. Man, I love so it. I want you to scroll down to the past the first three pages, and it says novation and indemnification agreement. Um, when you see that, just let me know. Oh, actually, give me one second. I got to make a quick correction. It may kick you out of here. I just want to make sure I have this correct here. Uh. We're doing this on the fly. Okay. Um, give me one second. It's gonna kick you out real quick because I'm making a correction on it. But I'm gonna resend it real quick. Give me one second. I ain't gonna lie. I would have had him sign it and send an amendment. All right. One million percent. <laughs> one million. We got three minutes. Uh, Sign that, send okay. that, and if you can we'll pop that later. bad boy open, we'll be ready to rock and roll. I told you we right. specialize in speed and convenience. How much? Almost another thousand dollars too. That's, you keep that. It's excellent. To we aim to please, and I will be your concierge throughout this whole process. So I'll be your only point of contact. I'll make things very easy. It's always my goal for anybody that I work with to make this the smoothest transaction, uh, smoothest transaction they've ever had to make it frictionless. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited we're going to be able to work together on this. Now, were you able to pull up that uh, agreement again? Uh, yeah, I'm only seeing the first one. I don't know if it's just <laughs> the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be identical. I made some changes at the bottom. Now, if you can scroll down past the first three pages, you'll see it says Novation and Indemnification Agreement. Okay. And this this is gonna explain everything that we were just speaking about, that you're gonna get every penny of $11,000. We agree to do any and all work necessary to close the deal. You know, we will be working with a third party purchaser. So that's how we're gonna make money on the deal. We're gonna end up selling it for more than what we're promising you, right? And it, it basically says we take care of um, closing costs, if there's any realtors involved, any repairs, any concessions from the buyer. We handle all that. So literally, once we have this done. Now go uh, ahead and click. You're not going to have to do any more. <laughs> Two minutes. Come on, and, man. Uh, Let's right right now for honor before. Now just click. I'm going to stay quiet. <laughs> and you'll see, you see number three on there on the, on, on the page, uh, the first page of the novation agreement. It says, buyer agrees it will be solely responsible for any inspection costs, any and all re renovations, replacement, repairs required to be made by the property. Um. And basically, all I would need to get this rocking and rolling, uh, there's a little colored box. If you scroll back up to the first page, yeah, baby. Um, and if you click on that, let's go, let's you can go. either, if you're feeling artistic, you can squiggle in your initials, uh, or you can select one of the pre-made ones, and they're both equally valid. There's like four initial spots and two places for your world famous Bro, he said he was the fastest in the West. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> click, click, click! Bang! Click it! And then you have to hit finish when you're done. 
Oh, it'll take you from spot to spot, and then once you get finished, no look curry. It'll, like, no look you curry. Of it'll ask you to make an account, but you don't have to make an account. That's if you just want to send stuff out. Seriously, come on. One minute. And then we'll reach out to you tomorrow because I know we're getting towards the end of the day. And we'll give you kind of like a heads up on what the next steps are and everything like that. We'll arrange for someone local, one of our local people, to get down there to get pictures and verify everything. Okay. Just awesome. Um, if I'm at work, I know it sounds weird, but the back, uh, I can't get this over to the back door will be terrible. Okay. Uh, and, and sign? Damn it, did you sign it? Sign it, baby! Don't worry uh, about that. Is it signed? Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, we'll be able to work out the details. Please We're pretty flexible. It. And we may not even be able to get someone in there as early as tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. All right, and were you able to get that all knocked out? Ten seconds. I keep running out of room. I need like ten. Oh, and you can just select one of the pre-made ones. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> oh wow! Oh, man, what? You oh mean? my God! Dang. Yo. Woo. What just happened? <laughs> that gets the fire horn. That was why we watched the Closers Olympics. Listen, if you haven't already, make sure that you get your bundle, okay? Make sure you get your bundle. What's in that bundle? Listen, this is the reason why we watched the Closers. That was awesome. Matter of fact, if you thought that was awesome, put a fire emoji in the chat right now as we speak. Let's do this. Yeah, put the fire emoji in the chat right now. This is the reason why we watch the Closers Olympics, baby. Listen, make sure, if you haven't already, get your bundle. Get your bundle. Listen, this thing is only, only going to be $349 for the bundle. And if you just want your tickets, okay, if you just want your tickets, it's only $149. Okay, but if you get the bundle, you get 2020, you get 2021, 2023 replays, plus you get your tickets and and you get a closers Olympics mini course. Listen, make sure you take advantage of that while the judges are judging. This is listen, the chat is going bananas. The chat is going bananas. My guy Rich wonders. Listen, that was amazing. I want to hear what the judges have to say about this. This is going to be phenomenal. I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces in the chat. Shout out to all of y'all. Shout out to all of y'all. Listen, let's go ahead and get straight to this. Um, man, I'm I'm interested to see what my guy Max is getting ready to say. I don't know if he, I think Max is, all, yeah, Max is done. Elijah's done. We just waiting on RJ, but let's go while we wait on RJ. If we can get my guy Max up, I can't wait to hear these scores and hear this breakdown. Uh, Max, man, what are your thoughts on what we just got through? Ooh, baby, hold on. Let me put some cold water on myself over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing, Yo. amazing call session. I mean, if there was if there was points to for 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 Smoking hookah while negotiating, my man would get a definitely 10. But anyways, let's get straight to business. Um, amazing, man. I wish he would have got that contract signed. I wish he would have just, I'm going to sit back, go ahead and get it finished signed. As soon as you run into the problem, I will come back in and then let him be, right? Let him, let him get that. Let him sign it, man. Let him, let him sign it. So I gave him a 3-4 report. Um, you know, again, he let the guy talk a lot. I am usually like to interject, get the sale moving forward. But I love what he did. Negotiations, I gave him a 4 uh, a three on the creative option, um, a four on handling objections. He did really well. So definitely identified the pain, right? The guy couldn't finish the property. Gave him a three on that. And listen, I gave him a four on verbal agreement. And I'm going to explain to you why. When you ask someone, hey, if we were, you know, if, if we were able to come up to your price, or we were able to, you know, give you that price. And they and they basically come back with a resounding absolutely. That's what I love when it comes to a verbal agreement. Not let me think about it. Maybe I think so. And this guy said, absolutely. Yeah, I would, I would definitely put some in writing. I wish we would have got that contract brother, but that's my score there. 21. Wow. Yo, listen, Woo. this is exciting. 
Man, let's get my guy Elijah up. <laughs> Elijah, what's your thoughts on this, man? Whoa, whoa. I'm telling you. I'm in my 19th year in real estate, bro. Yeah. Man, that shit was excited. I love it. I love this stuff, man. That's why I mean. You got to love Close Olympics. Just this is the free joint. This is the free version. The free joint. All right. So just imagine. So but let's get right to it because I know Jenny's going to be on my head. So rapport, four points. Again, four points. I think he built good rapport with them. Yes, he did control the conversation, but I think he realized what type of seller he was talking with. And the seller was getting more comfortable the more he allowed him to talk. So I think um, he put all his eggs on the basket, but it looks like it worked out for him. Uh, on the negotiation side, I think um, I gave him a three. Um, I, I, the reason I gave him a three is because I thought for sure that um, he could have – I think he negotiated him down what the MAO was. He went even lower. I like the price anchor range he gave him. Creative option, it worked out. He uh, went the novation route, kind of walked him through that process. Solid on that as well. Handling the projection, I feel like he could have went in a little better. I feel like he could control the conversation and pull those out. Identifying the pain, I think he did a good job with that, especially when you talk about the uh, the guy's lack of mobility. And a verbal agreement, like I said, he got a solid. He just didn't take the first number. He could even went up a little high on the verbal agreement, but he chose to go lower. And initially he said 12, and then came back to 11, and the seller didn't even trip or even said anything about that. So thought a phenomenal call, phenomenal call. I really wanted – I mean, he could he could seal the deal – if that guy just freaking clicked the signature, I would have said nothing. Like, hey, hold on one second. Go ahead and sign off on that. I'm just going to fill up my water tank. Just focus on that, and then I'm going to answer all your questions right after that. Let him laser focus into that. But still, phenomenal call. Rich definitely did his thing all while smoking the hookah. All while smoking the – man, shout out to him for the hookah. <laughs> Yo, that was phenomenal, man. Listen, man, thank you so much, Elijah. Let's get my guy RJ Bates up to get your take. Yo, bro, <laughs> came in here and gave me a closer wood. All right. <laughs> I had to get a beer for that shit. Hey, I don't know how you could say he could have done anything better. One seller, okay? He let the guy sell him everything, which I absolutely love. This ain't about you, okay? You're the buyer. Let them sell you. He said it how many times? Sell me, baby. Sell me. Fuck, Rich. You sold me, baby. I gave him a five on everything except for the signed contract because he didn't get that because he did everything else. What else could he have done? He identified every pain. I know everything about this dude. He handled every objection. I can promise you this. Rich didn't know shit about the Detroit land bank before this call, and he overcame that by doing the novation. Everyone was saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? He had to do that. That was his creative option to overcome so the guy could even sell the property to him. And he overcame mm. that with nothing. I loved it, bro. That dude was – I've never seen that dude close before, but that is a closer right there. Facts. Yo, we just getting this party started. Hey, man, shout out to you, RJ Bates, for that score. Listen, this guy is coming for your head, man. How you feel about that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Because he is going to be on the heels. Listen, I want to hear from my guy, Rich Wonders. He came in with the cool, collected, humble spirit, but with like a bazooka. You know what I mean? So it was like, you thinking you finna get like a little 22 and like he comes out with like the, the you know, the, the, uh, <laughs> the bazooka joint just out the blue, ready for the Taliban. So, Rich. Man, I want to know what your thoughts were on this, man. You came with the bazooka. You had me prepared for the 22. What's going on, man? Yo, thank thank you for the love, man. I just want to say he did sign. But I don't know if that, you know, it was. Signed contract. It, signed contract, baby. But, no, th hey, look, I, I'm, I'm glad I was scared. I wasn't getting one on the horn. So when I got someone on the horn, I'm like, I'm going to ride this till the wheels fall off where at least I can open up some dialogue and cover some problems and dig into something. Cause that's what happened on my first run is I, I was getting off the phone when I didn't think it was a sale because of the time clock. And then I, I didn't get anybody else on the horn. So I'm like, got one, let's go. But yeah, it was, it was interesting. And listen, Hi. let me tell you, I was thoroughly entertained listening to that call. That was a phenomenal execution. You hear me? 
I can tell that your season, your confidence was off the charts. And you got to score a match. 74. Look at that, baby. Look Thank at that. you. Thank you, judges. <laughs> Thank you, everyone watching. Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, my God. That was good. That was some good stuff. Listen, I hope you guys understand something really, really clear. Because here, here, here's the deal. We talked about Zolo leads. And I, I also talked about I also talked about the the importance of being able to produce leads. You show me a business again. You show me a business that does not produce leads, and I will show you a business at the bankruptcy court. This is a fact. And so, I'm going to let you guys in on one of the industry's best kept secrets. See, so uh, when it comes to marketing. If you're not working with the best of the best in the game, I'm telling you, you're not playing to win. This is a fact. This is an absolute fact. So if you've been getting any emails, you've been getting any ads, if you've been getting any text messages from the closest Olympics, from this particular event, and even the future events, if you've been getting any of that, all of that is thanks to our sponsor, Mike Walsh. Okay. And he's with uprankpro.com. Uprankpro.com. And listen, and we're not even going to um, – I, I really want to just let you listen to some of the top leaders. I'm not even going to go into details on all of the things. I want you to listen to the people who are actually working with Mark, uh, uh, with, 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 with Michael Wash uh, on these things, and let you see exactly why UpRankPro.com is the best. Okay? So, no further ado, let's run this video. I just want to let people know that I respect you that much that we have turned down some of the biggest requests uh, to speak. And I'm still showing up for Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh is the man. He built my funnel. For my good friend, Mike Walsh. Michael Walsh and the whole team absolutely crushing for us. To Angela and Michael Walsh for helping us grow our business. With his team has really elevated our entire organization. And he knows what he's doing. You tell him what you want. He's going to do it. He's a pro. In the event space, uh, funneling traffic space, marketing space. Just super appreciative and grateful for the Uprank team with Michael and Angela and uh, all that they do and they've done for us and me in the past. Bro, I admire you. I respect you. I know you care about community. You guys are building your own. It is so freaking fun to watch. And I, it's why we said yes to this, bro. Not only because like, you're freaking cool, but because, <laughs> because of what your values are, man. Wow, that was amazing. Shout out to my guy, Michael Walsh, for dropping that and uprankpro.com. But listen, we're in a competition and we got our last guy getting ready to come up and blaze the stage in only a way that he can. So listen, last but not least, we got my guy Carlos coming all the way from Arizona, all the way from Arizona. And guess what? He's a closer that's coming out of the real estate disruptors. Shout out to my guy, she, Steve Trang on that. You know what I mean? But here's the deal. He's already, he's been doing acquisitions for about a year. Okay. And he's already inked 38 deals. Okay. 38 deals he's inked and he's closed 16 of those 38. That's impressive to only be doing this business for a year. So he's new up and coming. He's out of the real estate disruptors camp. So I know for a fact that he's well and thoroughly trained. So I can't wait to hear from my guy, Carlos Paloma. What's going on, my guy? Hey, what's up, Byron? How's it going, everybody? Oh, man, I'm excited to hear your skills, man. Let's let's show off, man. You ready to you ready to take this thing? How you I'm feeling? ready, man. I'm ready. So rich, man, he put the he set the bar high, but let's go get it. Let's see what we can do. Let's just do what we do. I'm a product of my training, you know? Are we closing a deal right now? Is that what we're doing? That's what the game plan is. Let's set the top. Let's set the time clock. Let's get this party started. 
All right, I'm gonna lower my volume there. All right, let's call the first one. All right, we're reaching out to Salem, New Jersey. Here we go, we got Lorraine out in Salem. All right, let's see what Lorraine's got to say. Come on, Lorraine. Bro, being a judge is like more exciting than competing. <laughs> right, I, yeah, so excited. I sweat out my other shirt. I was gonna get my clothes Olympic shirt on. <laughs> Jeez, golly, got me sweating over there. That's now. right. Got a RJ. bottle, cold, ice cold it's bottle. Right, I'm like, right, let's do another dial. <laughs> RJ, now are you? Th- All right. You want to come Double dial up or cut? Cousins, Let's go. Um, with Novation King, are you guys related third cousins? We are not. I've, met, I don't, I've never even met Rich until last Let's night. It. I want to talk to Grandma Bates. I want to talk to Grandma Bates, all right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I was thoroughly you impressed answer, by him. On the next. Damn. On to the next. Wow. Man, that, Let's that go. Cool. I like the fact that he showed this that he got the, the is, even though he didn't get it within time. We're going to Texas. He got it for the fact that he wants to close deals and do right yeah, by the colors. See, we got out in Texas. I mean, that's like, what it's all about, right? I said that last night in the meeting. Like, close deals, contracts. Yeah. Come on, Sean. And that's what you least said yesterday, RJ, during the meeting with everybody. Like, let's not just uh, style score points. Let's close deals. Let's take the paper. Hello, hi, Sean. No, you have the wrong number. Oh, wrong number. Okay. Um, you wouldn't by chance have any reference to the property on Benbrook Drive? No, no. Oh. I don't know why he gives out this phone number. Oh, okay. No, oh, I you don't must... have anything to do with him at all. I have no idea who he is. Okay, must have the wrong number. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. bye. Ah, on to the next. Let's go. Time is starting. Let's go. Do you have Let's any go. properties you wanted to sell by chance? Let's get it. By chance. That's, that's a good point, too. Like, now Let's the clock go. started. We need to start right. on... Um, Rich, you know, that, that's a good point. I will say the only thing that I would have had a little, a little bit different, but it's just not on the scorecard. He should have gone to the close earlier. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Marie, it's Carlos calling about the property on Ligastrum Street. I'm calling because let's go. Call it right back. Okay. 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 All right, all right. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the uh, chain of the great tutelage. I see first, first right, one I've the next. seen one use the, the voicemail. Keep it moving. Let's keep Let's it go. pushing. Let's go. Yeah, I agree with you, RJ. That close could have came. I mean, phenomenal job. I'm not taking nothing away, right, but gonna sometimes we just gotta, like, I like what you said, Elijah. Hey, I'm gonna go get fill out my bucket of water, sign it. All right, just so holler if you, if you run into trouble. Memphis, right. we're not talking about anything else. Come on, Latoya wanted the guy to get his pain out, and really, he saw him talking himself down. But the problem is, is in real life. Nope. Wow. All right. <laughs> you didn't do it. That was him. Double dial. Dial up or cut. I mean, in real life, yeah, let them keep Let's talking. Go. But, hey, you got a clock in your face. Like, at the, like the 13-minute mark, he should have started that. He started at like the 7-minute mark. Yeah. Yeah, he lost nope. that. Nine to 13. On to the minute. next. On to the yeah, next. That would work. We grind, guys. Right. We grind. We grind until we find it. I love his uh, his uh, you know uh, calling it right affirmations and motivate like you know it's Hi. that was awesome. I'm so sorry I missed your call. I haven't seen that. Sorry, I haven't seen my call too. Can you do that? I would double down with Lee Voice Girl. He's reading up. reading up time. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Sorry. Oh, mailbox oh. full. Let's talk about Carlos here. I'm on that. Right. He had to sit for 30 minutes, Let's go. literally 30 minutes, and watch that go down. And about six minutes in, he's realizing he's probably getting this. So we'll come back to that one in a second. 29 minutes. Carlos is known. I have to go Let's close go to it. Indiana. I have to get a deal. A yeah. contract. Yeah, and a deal. Why do you think your message for so, three months? The mindset that Carlos is in right now. Step back. Uh, close the deal. On a daily basis, he, he needs to be. Your call can now be completed as dialed. <laughs> Naaman said he's okay. the only one rooting against that signature. <laughs> he's talking about uh. Right, right. <laughs> all right, just getting all the voicemails out of the way. Just cleaning, cleaning up the little leaf file here. It's called George back in Indianapolis. 
Let's go, Los. Hello, George. Nope. Goodbye, George. Oh, I'll be honest with you. If I were Carlos right now, right. Uh, from a competitive we state, got in Idaho. I'm looking at my lead list. We got in Idaho. Let's go. I ain't calling Idaho. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Robert. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also here. Uh, East Coast versus uh, West Coast, too. That could be I'm, a something I'm looking look for – where am I getting my shit box for $9,000? I'm calling yeah. Birmingham. I'm calling St. Louis. I'm calling Kansas City. Yes. I'm calling Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. I'm finding something like that on my list because I know that's what I'm competing against. Exactly. Well, like, yeah, that's true. Up and then go back to this one and dial it for the second competing time. Competing against a $10,000 MAO. Uh, Luis <laughs> out in New Jersey. What's well, good in Jersey? Let's go, let's go. Put me in, coach. Put me on. But I will also say that's an advantage. You have reached a voicemail box. That's an advantage of doing virtual wholesale, yeah. right? Like we'll I've heard find them say, them. Oh, oh, we'll go back. Jersey. Oh. It's coming. Oh. That's like number 46 and 49 for me in the United States. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> We're doing the shot clock. We got time. We got time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Omar, see. I All think right. That- Let's go to Ohio. He stays in pocket. Let's go. Ohio. Ohio. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get this one. Come on. Let's go, Los. Give him something. Come on. Nice. Give him a- Let's go, let's go. I know you're there. And, and see, I think, and this is what happens, right? You, you see somebody just close a big deal, or they get the score points. You're not getting any call, no pickups. Your mindset starts shifting. That's why you most people are telling yourself what you want, how to be. You, you literally could track that seller out to answer the phone. Well, and it's tough, right? Because, like, let's All say right. he gets one halfway in here. He's got to sell out. He's got to be able to, you know, I guess Just he doesn't to have to sell out, to... but he's got to make the most of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got one. I got one. Oakhurst, one. California. The reality of it is, is what he needs to do. If, if he gets around that 15 minutes, oh, Rob, he get get it. to knowing the price immediately. Okay. Hey Rob, it's Carlos. Um, call me because I got the information you sent me about selling the property out on Buckeye. Yes. Probably, yes. probably caught you to bad time. Probably caught you to bad time. No. Okay. Well, hey, but are you still selling? Yes. Okay. Good deal. So, Rob, I uh, wanted to reach out and get some information on this and. Just curious if, if we can agree to a number uh, that we're both comfortable with. My next steps would be to take everything we talk about, put it in writing, to shoot it over your email. You good with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, real quick, while I'm pulling the information up in front of me, I'm curious what has you considering selling? Because I owe taxes on it. I get ready to take it. Holy taxes. Okay. Um, you're right to the pain. Let's go. So, <laughs> Flipping that eyebrow on me. Uh, and, and you know what, man? I, I, I can't live here. I just can't. Can't live there? I just, uh, uh, I've been a licensed contractor in GCA, some of those kind of guys, you know. Got it. Okay. And, uh, my so, neighbors don't like me. So you mentioned taxes. Um, what? What's the? How much you owe on that? About nineteen grand. On oh, nineteen thousand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's property taxes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so, how long? Ha- how long have you been dealing with this? Well, I had uh, I had some fines from the county because I had too much stuff in the front yard. And, uh, City violation. That was about twenty-seven thousand dollars until I got it cleaned up. So, just, so you, 
you got that all cleaned up so that you still owe that or you you got to take no, it? No, I owe that. I owe that. I owe that. Oh, uh, that's where they get you. Don't they do that all the time, huh? Yeah. I like it. You've done the rapper before. I'll tell you yeah. what. You got the can opener. So you got you got yeah. back taxes owed on this. I mean, what what's got you to where you, you're you're behind on all this? What happened? What's going on? I haven't been able to work. I came up here. I had a uh, I had this uh, job. Another funnel. LA area off mm -hmm. of Wilshire. And uh Find out the real problem. My kid was living with me. Uh huh. Yeah, kid. I had to, uh, when he graduated high school, I had to move up here to take care of my dad. Oh, okay. How's your dad he, doing? Uh, well, he died in 2005. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences, brother. Yeah, thank you. Then uh, I broke my leg in the beginning of 2007. And then uh, I had a. Uh, Ulcerated a hole in my right foot, right behind the pinky, and they wanted to amputate that part of my foot. I said no, so I uh, stopped working because of that. And uh, I suffered from debilitating depression. Man, and it's just like I couldn't get ahead. I got two torn rotator cuff now, which I haven't gotten fixed. I, you know, I just. 67 years old, I've worked in profession all my life, and, um, you know, I don't know. So you got a lot going on, man. It sounds like you're just going through it, and um, your body's just really, you know, going through it a lot. So, so you mentioned not being able to work. Like, how long has this been going on to where you can't work? Since uh, I stopped working after I had that hole in my foot and wanted to amputate part of it, and I really haven't done much. I volunteered at uh, <clears throat> um, our food bank, our local food bank here, and uh, I work at the church for minimum wage, you know, just fixing doors and stuff and paying its work. Uh, I just started that about a month and a half ago. Okay. Uh, so you're doing you're doing everything you can to try to to make ends meet. It sounds like and wow, yeah, it's, been, it's been really rough. And I just got my social security. Uh, well, at least you got. Month, I got it. You know, at least you got that through for you. So yeah, so that so looking at this, I mean, besides yourself, who else would have any input on the property nice. being sold? Nice. Any input, like, is you know, you got. I, I know a gentleman named uh, Jason Sanders. Uh, I think he, he put a lien on it, but they signed and a lot in the drill, you know, uh, about 11 grand. Uh, let's see. The IRS you got a lien on it? 11 grand? $1,000 thing from 2000, uh, 13, 2000, I think. 2020 has a. Right before I moved up here, I was on that job and I was getting 1099 for it, but they didn't make enough money to even have to file. Uh, but they calculated it for me anyway with 1099. Wow. So you you got a lot. Uh, so these are these are quite a bit of things against you. I mean, not only are you we're dealing with your your body, you're just sounds like you're really going through it, and you got everybody looking to to put, uh, you know, to get paid on this. So. And that's fine. And you know what? That's fine. I don't have a problem with paying my debts. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't pay my debts. Right. No, it, it sounds like you're willing, but as far as physically, I don't know that, you know, you'd be too able. So looking at this property, I mean, what can you tell me about the property? Um, is there anything major wrong I'd need to know about? Oh, it's just tore up. Tore up? Dirty. It's just dirty. Dirty. My dad built it in 94 after he retired, and uh, my dad was an architect. Uh, he wasn't a very good carpenter, so he admitted uh, it. Was, uh, it was a lot of work that has to be done on the deck. Um, we had, I had some storm damage, and uh, some of the beams uh, went down. There were some beams that, were, that held some lattice wood, and... Uh, uh, one of them came down. There was some glass that uh, there was a sun, there was a sun in the mouth on the back deck. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Got it. So, yeah, it sounds like it needs some work there. What's stopping you from just putting the money into it, fixing it up, and then, you know, get. Don't have the money. Don't have the cash. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'm assuming there's still a mortgage. Okay, so you got you got some stuff there that could that you could use to repair. So, real quick, I'm curious. Um, there, there. I'm assuming there's still a mortgage owed on this ballpark. How much is left on that, Rob? On what? On the property. How much is left on the mortgage? I owe it. I owe that one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's not like you owe anything. So. Okay. Well, what would be? I guess what would be a number that that you were hoping for on this? The Zillow price and the price that um, this uh, uh, reverse mortgage gentleman was talking about, they listen to 408 right now, of course. Like I said, I've been a contractor in two states. Uh, you know, I know what it takes to fix up a house. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I, I, I took two twenty. I'm not. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Three twenty. Three hundred twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, he ain't in too much pain. He's at that Zillow price. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I need that Zillow. No, that Zestimate is well, just a guesstimate. Bob, I'm curious. Do, do you know how Zillow does their their estimations? Bro, he said 220. He did say 220, but then he came back with the 320. Yeah, I, I, I would I anchor him back. So you said 220, sir? Basically, what they look yeah, at I would is ask for properties that up. are like decked out, fully renovated, response, kitchens, right? bathrooms, everything. So when we're looking at this property, you mentioned it needs – Quite a bit of work. Um, I'm talking about the property. Talk about what he wants to do with the money. Remember the three L's? Location, location, and location. Yeah. Uh oh, now he's trying to sell them. miles from the southern entrance of the Yosemite National Park. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's been people around here that, you know, deal in bed and breakfast and they want this house. Got it. No. I bet. I bet. But here's the thing, you know, what we're looking at, Rob, is sounds like you've been dealing with this a lot and you've got a lot of things that you could take care of. I mean, it. Why don't you do this for me? Here we go. What's going on? With the business what's going on here, right? And you asked me that I bought, you send me a counter off. Well, here's, here's what I wanted to bring up to you. Can I share with you what I found? Sure. Okay, so what I'm seeing in the area is that there's other what, – what I'm seeing is from other cash buyers that have recently bought in the area. Now, I'm not saying this is my offer, but where they're at is like probably the low 200s, um, and these are as-is properties similar to this. Um, maybe the mid two hundreds. I mean, again, I'm not saying that's my offer, but if you were to get an offer like that, what do you see yourself doing? Nice way of answering. Uh, an offer around uh, probably the low, possibly the mid two hundreds. No. So, I mean, I, I get that you're looking for, the 320. Would I asked him how close can you be to that? Right. How close can you get to that yeah. number? You know, like saying, and then still a finance part of it. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. And Rob, you, you know, know to, get you, to get you in a situation where you could just be, you know, be able to get this property taken care of. Uh, I guess you sell this and move on to the next step and you can have you this go. all done in a picture perfect world. All right. Like, what would be a number that you'd feel comfortable selling this at? You know, I've 
around and around about this. I don't know how many times. You know, just thinking about it. And, uh, uh, okay, well, let's say 270. How's that? 270,000? Yeah, what if you didn't have to pay any closing costs? Yeah, what if you didn't have to pay any closing costs? Uh, four escrow bills. Come on, Carlos. You gotta understand, I've done a lot of uh, tools here. Uh, I've done a lot of tools here. I've done a lot of tools here. I've got a ton of tools. Gotta solve that problem. Uh, yeah, if I go ahead and get that handled for you. I've got to get them out of here. And yep. I'll get them a, another 10K right there. Uh, so I'm just going to need some cash. I've got some problems. Well, you got 11 minutes, though. So, yeah. okay. So, looking at that, if we were to, I'm not saying I can, but let's pretend I could do that. Uh, what do you think you would need? No, How much okay. would that come up to your immediate cash needs? You got to negotiate them down a little bit more. We ain't going to give you the points, yeah. Larry. Come on. 30,000. Yeah. Hmm. Thought he was for $30, sure. What would happen next? <laughs> <laughs> That's about 2021, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's still 2021. Uh huh. Real 10 grand. Uh -huh. Closing costs. Go 250 and then negotiate back at 260. Let me ask you this, Rob. So, so again, I'm not saying I can, but let, let's pretend we could do that and get you the time you need plus the ability to get everything moved out and, and all go. that, right? Because right. I'd have to be around, you know, I don't know, maybe what, what I'm looking at is probably around the two. 28 232 and you're at 270. Hey, I mean, you probably couldn't meet me in the middle on that. Let's go. So we're back at two and a half. Huh? You say two and a half? 250? What's that? Are you going to come by here? Are you somewhere? Well, typically, what we do is we obviously would. Make sure that it makes sense for us to work okay. together, right? Put everything in writing. And then if it makes sense, then we'd, yes, we'd come out there. But before that, obviously, I want to make sure we can agree on a number and a time frame. So, you if we were, again, if we were to get this done, is there Richie, any way you could possibly talking. meet me somewhere in the middle? If I cover closing costs. You don't have to pay any commissions, do no repairs, and we could work with you on getting everything stored, set up. Love it. All that. Uh, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll meet you halfway at 250. I'll 250,000? Yeah. Write it up. <sighs> Give me that I email. mean, you're tough. You're tough, Rob. I'll tell you what. Um, let me do this. Let me sit. Get that email loss. Right, right. Don't get caught up the yapping. Okay. yapping. Uh, I can't take it all. But I got a lot of stuff here that, you know, is uh, that I need to do. Well, I'll, you don't I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, whatever you don't want to take, you can leave there and there we'll take care of it for you if that helps. That make the difference? Well, it, it, I, it's, it's stuff you can use, you know. Electrical components and boxes and our contract you know, contractors will use that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, it's not like I'm gonna go out and take everything out of the house. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um let's do this. So let me ask you this. Do you, are you able to open up your emails? Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm sending this over to my underwriter to get this approved. And, and again, if we can get this done, let me make sure we'll get this over to you. Um, and, and 
Would it help you if I give you a little bit of time on this? So let's say if we close by the end of August, would that work for you? Right. So you need more time than that? How? Well, when were you hoping for? Well, I mean, that, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, I'm just, uh, I, I want to make sure I get it, you know what I mean? I don't want to walk away from it, you know, I'm not finished with what I was supposed to do. Well, no. well, I'll give you, you know, again, I'll work with you on the time. We'll work all the details out. Obviously, this is going to be the first steps is to do this to start the process. Yeah. You and I are going to be working together to get the process going from here going forward. So let me do this. Go ahead and open up your emails. There you go. Lead them. You already got them open? Lead them, Moses. Get a couple yeses for him. Get a couple micro agreements. Let me make sure I got the right email address for you, too. I've got uh, Bowie, Rob at gmail.com. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So if I can get this two fifty to $250,000 and we can get this approved and we can give you the time you need, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, if I can get this approved at the 250,000 and we can close in your time frame and give you time, everything you need to get everything moved and work with you. What do you see yourself doing? What's that? Okay. So what I'm hearing is and you'll sign. Of course. So let's do this. Let's go ahead oh, and no, we'll get, together. get these over to policy. you. That's my company policy. All right. So what I'm going to do. Heart's pounding. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that was rough. That little last patch, like I think he, he shouldn't have said any of that stuff. It was more like, okay, we got it all figured yeah, out. He's opening your email. Here Are you comes, familiar right? with DocuSign? Have you ever done one of those? Yep. Yep. Okay. You're doing a good job okay, so far with that good. clock, man. <laughs> No bueno. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Elijah. Yeah. My personal opinion, I think we should give him five more minutes because that first call was a bad number. Okay. Let me let me uh hit the let me hit the production team real quick. Let me let me talk to the boss. What do you think, Max? I mean, it was it we definitely started the the clock on a okay. wrong number. And yeah. let me know when you get that email. This puts him head to head with Rich. I, I, in my on my scorecard, it's going to come down to does he get the signature or not? Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's five minutes on a bad phone number. And his ROI is pretty strong. Yeah, if he gets a contract, they come through. Oh, uh, okay. It may be, it may be running a little bit slow. It probably is. Hey, I've seen him three days behind. Three days? Yeah, oh, no. Well, let's, let's hope this one doesn't get there in three days, right? I, I know. It's like, yeah, I pay a fortune for unlimited data, which I don't get. You know, you, and, you know. Yeah. Okay, so did it come through yet? Oh. All right. Check the spam. Uh, Check. What do you want me to sign? I'm like, just sign the documents? Yeah, it's just the documents so we can get the process started. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> okay. Check again to see if it came through. 
It may go to your junk or spam. There you go. So this is a real simple document. So you have, let me know when it's open. Oh, Elijah. real simple document. So open up the document and yeah. it should be a, a button it. to click to get started. Minute. Remember what we talked about last night? Yeah, we, we, want the, we want the best of the best in place. Let's see if he gets it. He still got to get him signed. Jenny, we you, you put four, five more minutes on? Did you get that? Let's go. Yeah, it's open okay. All right, I'll look at it tonight. Well, here, here let's do this. Let's go through this uh -oh. together because we can get the ball rolling. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this done at the 250. That way we can get this started. So as you see in the document. Time out, time out, time out. I don't move that fast. We're giving you five more minutes. I'm confused. I'm confused. That you want to remember when we talked earlier, and I said if we can come up with a number we're comfortable with, we'll take everything, put it in writing. Don't, don't, don't play that on me, okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Really? So let me ask you this: We got the two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, oh man! The time that you need. Listen to me, all right? If I tell you something, you can believe it, okay? If I tell you something, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm a man of my word. I'm an honest man. All right, I'm not going to play you. Okay? And I understand what you want to do. Right there. You want to get Oh, oh man. Bro, your girl is hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, she's uh, – hey, she put the veto. She put the veto on it. What she, she's, she is the, she's the final decision maker on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, no five minutes. Listen, don't be coming around here asking for no five minutes. <laughs> Here's the deal. <clears throat> that right there was a very impressive call. So you know how we do this. I want to hear your opinion before we, while the judges are judging, while the judges are getting it in, let's go ahead and get your opinion on this. Yes, definitely a nail biter. Um, good work. Yeah, definitely good work. I mean, to me, right. Listen, I've done a lot of deals. I've done a lot of deals. And to me, it sounds like that guy was pretty much ready to go ahead and do some business. Um, and he sounded like a pretty fair and straight up guy. So he may get the contract later. You never know. At the end of the day, the good thing about the closest Olympics is that it goes even beyond just here today, that may be a deal that that yields him another twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. You never know. But here's the deal: the judges have judged, and I can't wait to hear my guy Max let us know exactly what your thoughts were on this deal. Let's get this thing. Let's get this party rolling. Man, talk about nail biters here at the oh, end, Byron. God. Man, you're right over there. <laughs> Man, I was like, yo, like. <laughs> oh shoot i mean he did everything well honestly like the report was there and here's the thing you got to think about it as seller per seller right mm -hmm. older seller which is one of the most difficult sellers to deal with you got to be very patient but he was very methodical to get the sale moving forward which is by the way not easy to do Facts. it's not easy to do with an older person and especially to get him on the on on an email give him a Five all across the uh, sorry, give him a five for report. Uh, I think he did really well understanding, you know, everything that was going on with him. He negotiated well, drank, price anchored him, then came back up and then, you know, got that extra, you know, 10K. I uh, gave him a five for that. Handling objections, I gave him a four. I wish he would have got over that hump of, hey, let me look at it tonight. I know the timing was, was going off and he definitely identified the pain. And listen, he got the verbal agreement. That's a juicy deal. That's a fact. Exactly, man. So. And he got it below the MAO. So, yep. yep. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much for that, Max. Man, we I can't wait to hear what my guy Elijah got to say about that. So that was a total score of 24. Yep. Total score of 24, you guys. Um, so yeah, and so we'll 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 go ahead and move on and get over to Elijah so we can get his score. But I just want you guys to remember that Max gave him 
a total score of 24. Elijah, I mean, man. what are your thoughts, man? Wow, man, these last two calls, I mean, these are- They were spicy. Spicy, feisty people. <laughs> I mean, we getting hookahs, we getting bearded, uh, long bears popping. I mean, it was a great call. I feel like Los did a phenomenal job. I feel like he really, I mean, he hit like almost everything out the park. He built rapport um, really well. Uh, he put all his eggs in this one basket because he went to get nice. called the first. Uh, he negotiated with the guy. Uh, he, he, uh, I didn't give him any creative points because he didn't uh, make a creative option. Um, he handled all his objections till the end where he started going, losing them a little bit um, when it's time to sign the contract. But he had him in pocket and um, identifying the pain, talking about all these body injuries he is having. And really, he controlled the conversation, kept good pace, good tonality, asked precise question. Yeah, he was um, the seller was doing the talking, but Carlos controlled where the seller was walking. So that's when you know you dealt with a good close. And that was really very, 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 very good. And he got the verbal agreement. Um, I can't give him any ROI points because we're not supposed to give ROI points if you don't get a if you don't get a contract signed. And technically, neither of uh, these people did get a contract signed. Um, I think he did a phenomenal job. I gave him twenty points. Um, it's really hard to get five points out of him. So I uh, gave him the max where I felt comfortable at, and uh, he got twenty on it. Man, he got to take that twenty to the bank. He got to take it to the bank. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey man, appreciate it, Elijah. Let's get to my guy RJ. Um, because ultimately, RJ looks like you're gonna be the the major decider here. Yeah, I, I thought Carlos did amazing. I thought he did, had a really good job. I was the one that uh was fighting for the five more minutes because of the wrong phone number. That's a uh, fact. I gave I gave Carl and I will be honest, Carlos is not my style of closer. He's definitely from Steve Trang, and yes. it's in that school. That boy, not my style. Um, so there was a couple of moments kind of irked me. But from his style and where he is, he hit it out of the park. I gave him a five on rapport, five on negotiations. I thought he did a great job there. Couldn't give him any points for creative options because there wasn't one there. Uh, I gave him five on handling objections because I thought he did a great job with this man's objections across the board. Uh, I gave five on identifying Bane. I gave him five on a verbal agreement. But – uh, no sign contract, no net ROI, and, and no creative option. Outside of that, I thought he did a, a great job. Wow. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, Max got him a 24. Elijah came in with a 20. You come in with a 25 with a total of 69. That's amazing. Tell the truth. RJ, yep. who are you most concerned about meeting you in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I'm going to go with Scotty, Kendall, and uh, Rich, and uh, uh, our boy Ricky. Everyone came out of the qualifiers. Those are the ones I'm most worried about. Elijah, Max, Keith, man, they're chumps. They old. <laughs> Yo. All right. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. Listen, thank you so much, RJ. I want to get our closer up here so we could see what his thoughts were on this because Carlos phenomenal call, brother. Thanks guys. You know what? Like I said, I'm a product of my training um, on this, on, on this, this session, right? This is what we do. We dial until we get that person on the phone and, and we just, we follow our process. You have to have a process and uh, you know, on this deal, Man, I just – the shot clock was running against me at the end. Uh, tried to go for the signature, got the verbal commit. The guy, again, at the end said, look, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to sign, but I just need the 24 hours to think about it. So besides that, man, where else can you find a stage as a closer to put yourself out there for a live call review and get the best of the best in the industry giving you feedback? Like, this is phenomenal. This is awesome. Facts. Man, listen, I, I just have to say, um, I definitely identified your process. I definitely appreciated that process as well. Just me being, you know, an observer of this business and a practitioner in this business. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. And the best thing about it is that you can repeat that process over and over again. I absolutely. thought it was phenomenal. Hats off to you, man. You got a score of 69. I think that's phenomenal. Uh, we're going to see where that lands you in this overall competition. Listen, if you haven't already, 
If you haven't already, make sure you pick up your tickets, man. Pick up those tickets. We need to see you in the building for the closest Olympics that is coming up in the next couple of weeks. You need to be getting your bundle or your ticket. Either way, either way, I think you're going to be all good. Listen, you're talking about a ticket for 149 or getting a full bundle, right? And it's going to give you 2020, 2021, all of the closed Olympics, all of that, that valuable closing uh, uh, um, practice, right? Because I call it practice because you get a chance to see people live in action closing deals. Plus, you get a closed Olympics uh, course as well. You cannot beat that for three forty nine. Make sure you go ahead and pick that up, right? You can go to closedolympics.com right now and go ahead and get that. Listen, we got to pick a winner. Matter of fact, regardless of the scores that we've heard, regardless of any of that, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Who do you think deserves to win this round six? This round six. Who do you think the winner was regardless of the scores? Regardless of the scores, who is your number one vote? Go ahead and put that in the chat. I want to see that live. Who was the people's champ today? Um, while we wait to see who is the official champion moving to the next official championship round. Who do you guys think? Who who who, who, who are your pick? I want to see it in the chat. Novation guy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, let's go ahead and get straight to it. I don't, I don't want to waste a whole lot of time. I want to get straight to it. Um, Let's see what the official uh, judges and the numbers have come back and claim uh, that victor. Who is this going to be? Let's go ahead and get this thing popping. Oh, man. I'm seeing a lot of cool. Okay, we're seeing Carlos, long hair. That is funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Rich, Carlos, Rich, Carlos. It's going back and forth between Rich and Carlos. Rich. Yes, indeed. Love it. Appreciate all the participation, you guys. Yes, indeed. All right. So, looks like we've did all of the final scores, and guess who is our winner? My guy, Rich Wonders, with a total score of 74, closing this thing out. And let's not forget, he actually got the deal. Rich actually got the deal locked up 100% and he showed those receipts with his phone to me and to you right here live on the show. Listen, this is the type of competition that makes the closest Olympics so, so special. If we could get my guy Rich up. Rich, how you feel, man? Yo, that was a nail biter. That was a nail biter. That was like a coin flip. Carlos is the man. I actually work with Carlos. So when people submit JV deals, he's one of the closers that comes in and nails them. And we've just been working a short time, but he's absolutely amazing. Hats off to him. Hats off to the judges. It, that's the thing with this competition, right? You have 30 minutes. Everybody in here is a great closer. So it comes down to just the, the whatever way the wind blows that day. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm happy you blew my way today, and hopefully it'll blow my way in the finals. But I I'm happy just to be a part of it. So thank you. It guys. absolutely will. It absolutely will. Listen, it was a it was an amazing uh, sight to see. I, listen, this is no extra gas, not, no extra gas added. It was phenomenal watching you close, brother. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do for the official closers Olympics, man. So, man. Great job, everybody. Oh, Listen, I just want to say shout out to all of the judges, Max, RJ, right? Elijah coming through, making this particular event so, so special. Um, shout out to all of the, the people in the back, too, because here, here's the deal. Jen, Moran, uh, my guy Naaman, uh, on the con it's so many people who came together to make this particular event possible. Plus, Definitely got a shout out to all of the other closers, Carlos, uh, Jen, oh man, um, Ilya, 
I got it right. I got it right. Ilya, man, shout out to my guy, Ilya, who's living the best life, closing 80 plus deals in the Dominican Republic. And definitely shout out to you, Rich, for putting on a spectacular performance. Spectacular performance. Listen, I can't wait to the official closes Olympics. If you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets. Hey, Rich, do you want to, what do you want to tell these people who haven't got their tickets yet? Can you yeah. close these people? <laughs> look, look, if you haven't got your tickets, it, I don't know what you're doing. Quit playing. It's a couple bucks, right? The value you will get for that. If you actually apply it, you have to take action, right? If you actually apply it. I'm soaking up tons of game from watching everybody else. Like, look, I, if I wasn't in, I'd be buying a ticket myself. You know what I mean? It's definitely your ROI on it's going to be sick. There's nothing else like this to just be a part of. It, it's amazing. So shouts out to everybody involved. Go, go cop those tickets, man. You can spend that on a steak dinner. You may as well just, you know, get some game, make some money. You buy all the steak dinners you want. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get our closers back up. And uh, let's, let's, let's just hear what they got to say on this, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's do it. Ilya. Carlos, what were your thoughts, man? What were your thoughts on this? For me, guys, it's it's that thirty minute shot clock, right? This really puts your this really puts you up against it. And um, you know, as far as it goes, like Rich, hats off to you, bro. Awesome performance. Like, love the whole the whole process. I seen your process there, and uh, yeah, we've been we've been talking and working together. Um, man, this is just, again, it's just an awesome venue for us to get together and, and really break down our, ourselves, our skills, our abilities. Uh, just awesome. Love it. Love it, man. Ilya, what's your thoughts, man? That was good. That was good. I enjoyed it. Great competition. Uh, I think everybody stepped it up and put in, put in, you know, the, the last, especially with Rich, the last second and Carlos too, the nail biters, because <laughs> they, 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 everyone wants to see that signature, right? To make it, to make it get a close. So absolutely. Tell it, okay. So give me this real quick, Ilya, anything you felt like we could have been done better uh, throughout this competition that you kind of spotted. As far as feedback, uh, anything I don't know, man. I think everything everything went well. You know, we had the leads, and I'm I'm glad that a good amount of people actually picked up the calls. You know what I mean? Like I had three people pick up. Um, I know Rich had just that one guy, and he just hooked on to him. Um, so it was good. I feel like there really isn't much more uh, that could be added. Everything was good. We got to see everybody's scores. We got to see the ARV it was presented pretty quickly. Yes, so indeed. Get an idea where we got to be. Mm hmm. Love it. Love it. Well, awesome. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get our judges back on the screen so we can get their feedback and shout out to Jen as well. We didn't get a chance to see her on the screen, but listen, we know that our heart was in the right place and she's, she's, she's definitely in this competition, but man, RJ, Max, Elijah. Yes. Wow. This now, was, this, I think this is probably one of the best ones we had. We knew, absolutely. we knew yeah, absolutely. this was going to be better. And they did not disappoint. No, not at all. I was just going to second that. I was going to say that. And I second that is this was awesome. I mean, this is what it's all about, right? Is I know the, the contract wasn't ink live, but Rich got his a minute after. Carlos was there. Uh, everyone, um, you know, Ilya, Jen, balled out and uh, amazing today, man. Amazing. Can't wait. Um, by the way, the older the wine gets, the finer it gets as well, too, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you, um, you know, the, the whole Closures Olympics committee has uh, given me an opportunity to talk to each one of the contestants before uh, these lives on the qualifiers. And I said it last night. I was like, hey, we want ink. Like, we want signed contracts. And, uh, you know, those guys there at the end, those last two calls were great. And the thing that I love about it was they were two different styles. Right, absolutely really? different. Style. Rich, Rich sat back and let that seller talk, 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 and even Max, you can see it, right? Because that's Ma not Max's style. Max is like, I'd interject right now, and I'm like, yeah. hell no, let him talk, baby. <laughs> Max. And then you Max. saw Carlos; he was interjecting himself, mm -hmm. and and it's it's cool to see the two different styles end up with the exact same result there at the end. It just 
Carlos just quite didn't quite have it there. And then also, I hate it because he didn't have an option for a creative option. So there wasn't yeah. a whole lot that he could have done there. He did everything <laughs> right. It just cost him five points. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think um, I think uh, along with what you said, I think we really got a chance to highlight the different styles, different techniques. You know, I think Ilya really definitely showed that he is not to be played with. He's That's coming next fact. year for us. Um, Jen, I, even though she started off, I think she still did a good job, a quality job. But then just when you get to, you know. My man had the Versace shades on, the hookah popping. <laughs> yeah, the whole the, the vibe for this game. The vibe is just right. <laughs> yeah, the whole uh, uh, the Cardinals head coach freaking vibe. Look at that the apartment over there. Like, oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> vibe is everything, man. Vibe, right? Life is all about vibes. I'm trying to keep Let's a good go. vibe at all times, man. Hey, I, I really think what happened here. We got a chance to see different styles, different techniques, quality conversations, and so now you could see what style you connect with, what style you resonate with. I think we gave a good sample of what the real close Olympic three, four day competition is going to be like, you know, how about, how about those leads, out? man? How about those leads? Oh, lead yeah. Zolo. How about the lead Zolo? Mm -hmm. Man. Lead Zolo leads are amazing, man. Uh, we, Hey, me, David and Max, we all learned about lead Zolo when we closed on it on stage at San yeah. Antonio. Uh, yeah. one thing I'll, I'll say about Jen's performance, uh, it is always detrimental to be the first one to go in the closers Olympics. I mean, it is hard when you're sitting there and you've got the butterflies and everything mm -hmm. like that. And then all of a sudden the little thing goes around and it lands on your name and you're the first one thrown in there. Um, Cause I, I think it impacted her a little bit on that first call. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say this watching Jen twice now and Ilya, they would have had similar results to the leads that Rich and Carlos had there. Um, that we saw four legitimate closers today, and that Absolutely. was evident by their skill sets. Absolutely. What, what did you think, Naaman? Dude, that was so much fun. It, it, it's like it's like everybody said, the quality of those four contestants was so high. There wasn't one person that that anyone was watching and they're like, ah, I'm not gonna do what that guy did or what that girl did. Everyone did so well. I had a good time uh, running comps, Ohio, California. That thing was in Yosemite. I'm like, where are these properties at? I'm like, what are we doing? Hey, it, was, it was a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely some high-pressure uh, moments in there. But I know for a fact the people that are moving forward, we don't need a comper. We're going to be comping mm. ourselves. We're going to be mm. figuring out what our own prices are. Because if you take too long, I need to shoot my shot. I'm not waiting for you. I'm not waiting. Yeah. I'm not nice. waiting for you. Double now, loaded. That, double loaded that, over here. That, right. Good point on that, name. And that's what I, you know, earlier I mentioned uh, with to RJ. If you're, if you were, if uh, Kimmer, who was that? Ilya that had the the, the listing, yeah. right? That the fell yeah. listing. Like I would attach that thing like a wolf. You know what I mean? Like that fell listing would have been my, uh, where I would have went. But again. You know, yeah. it, definitely that shot clock makes you do different things. <laughs> they, they all working off of that one phone. I'm like, you don't got to, if you ain't got two texts going out, two dials going out, like they had yeah. a lot of leads. And yeah, especially sure. my man Carlos, you know, at the end there, he uh he he did a great job. He just ran out of time there because of that first dial. Uh, but if he would have been dialing a little harder, had another phone maybe shooting some texts. He might have yeah. got that guy on the phone a little earlier and saved himself some time. Yeah. The only feedback that I would give to Carlos there at the end, specifically on what's different with my style. Well, I almost typed it in the box. It's like when he did there at the end and he said, if I were yeah. to give this over to you, what would you yeah. do? And, and it, like, it took like 90 seconds and it was like, Yo, bro, he already said he's good at yeah. Right? yeah. Do you RJ, think, I, you know, I, RJ, do you think I that probably brought on the apprehension at the end? Yeah. It could have. Yeah, it could have. I know what it did do. It took away his time on trying to yeah. overcome the ejection at the end. Because, because you no, go ahead. I'm sorry. He would have had another two minutes to yeah. say, if your word is gold and you're signing, then. Sign the document. Let's go through it together. And going through a contract is so powerful because I'm going to tell you right now, every time you get about two paragraphs in, they're like, ah, shut up. Okay, I signed it. All right, we're good. Right. Click, click, click. You know so, what I liked about uh, Rich, the way he did it, and maybe you can give us a little insight on this, Rich. It was he, he presented it as if he was just letting the, the seller review it, right? 
And then he started assuming the clothes after the fact. Did you guys notice that? And what, yeah, what, yeah. what are your thoughts on that? That was gold. Well, you're, you're asking me? Yeah. Or you're asking me? You ready? Either or. Either or. Okay. So assuming the clothes is super important. And I do that every time. You have to have a positive expectation because it takes away their decision anxiety. It makes it easy for them to make the right decision. So if you're uncertain on it, it's just gonna amplify their uncertainty. And normally, yes, I would read through the whole contract. My normal process is much longer, but since we're in a game, I had to, I had to shorten it. And normally I, I don't deal in Detroit at all just because of the low price points. So that was a little different, right? But yeah. Wow. Bro, Rich. I I say it all the time. There are sellers that are like, make me an offer. And I'm like, I don't make offers. Like, you didn't make an offer, bro. That's why I was like, I was so fucking pumped up. I was, I, I was like, I can't believe I'm watching this. It's like I'm watching me with hair, baby. This is Stop it, RJ. You, you know that's your third man. cousin. Stop yeah, it. Stop it. Like, <laughs> Vikings alive. Just a uh, transfer. Cousin here. Rich, how you doing? You just said the, e the, the contract's in your email. Go through it. Here you go. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. And it, that's how it's supposed to go when you have that style, you know? Yeah. It, what Max and, and Carlos do is a little bit different. It wouldn't work for them. Um, and, and I will say that. Uh oh, we got hey, awesome. that dial up that dial up. Oh, oh, a O L. Listen, oh, the dial up. What happened to 50 or 50? <laughs> Why did I say 50 or 50? 50 No. <laughs> Am I so broken? Happy. You got yeah, you got second, bro. Your, your three MPBs <laughs> went out. Yeah, you got caught in the matrix. One thing I Man, will you say. The matrix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, shout out to the production team, by the way, too, man. Absolutely. Yes. You know, they did an amazing job, man. Jen, Maron, uh, I got Peter in the back. Um, just you know, naming coming through. It was it was amazing. I, I just want to say I had a a blast with this. Um, this has to be one of my top. It's up there. It's definitely one of my top competitions that I've that I've that I've uh, gotten the opportunity to host thus far, uh, and I'm looking forward to the main event. Yeah. Well, before the main um, event, we have the press conference that's going to be going down next Thursday. The press conference on the 20th, I believe, at 3 p.m. PST. That's a fact. And, and I don't know if you guys watched the last year, couple of years press conference. But this ain't like no regular press conference you, you see. I mean, boxing match is cool. WWF is cool. NBA Finals is cool. The press conference is going to be off the charts. I don't know if you've seen the last one, but RJ is going to roast every single judge, <laughs> every single closer. All of us will be talking our talk. So hey, speaking of which, Elijah, hold on, pause real quick. Who are these dudes on the far right? Like, I don't know who these are. <laughs> they have names. Oh, they got followers. Oh, we they got followers. Amazon Prime Day? Like, where did you go? Can I get a judge for two ninety nine? dollars Like, where did they come from? Buy one, get one free judge? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> well, quality judge across the board. Quality <laughs> judge across the board. And regards who you are. RJ's roasting everybody, all right? Yeah. So, so, hey, Rich, I got a question a great for you, bro. And this is where we're going to be able to find out who the official matchup's going to be. We're all going to see who goes first, who goes second, who's going to be the last one. So it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Make sure you guys there. Press conference going down on the 20th, next Thursday at 3 p.m. on all these same streaming platforms. That's a fact. Hey, Rich, what did you Cold Stone ACD over there? What did you throw down? Was that your laptop? <laughs> I know you. Oh, no. That, it, was, it was just a pillow. I said, no. Oh, he just broke so something. Fast. I'm like, oh, my man. Yeah, it's like he's throwing his laptop. <laughs> Bro, I love the passion, though. That's how I feel like. No. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, Amazing. man. Amazing stuff, man. Listen. That's what I'm talking about. We are getting ready to get on up out of here in a little bit, and we were able to get this thing done in time. Shout out to the production team again. Yeah. Listen, amazing. We got potentially two deals done. You guys got a chance to witness that live. This is the no cap zone. You either bring the skills or you will be looking very ill going back home with 
the zeros. That's a fact, right? So we close in real deals in real time on the closest Olympics. Make sure you show up to the press conference taking place on the 20th and make sure you get your tickets and show up July 28th through the 31st for the closest Olympics.com right now. Go ahead and get that. Go ahead and get that, right? So we can go ahead and see you live, okay? July the 28th and 35th. Yes. Shout to Byron, all right? Shout to Byron showing up. Oh. Being a team play. Give yourself some love, sir. Pat, yes, pat, indeed. Pat on the back for you. I need all a right. pat on the back. I'll take that. Byron's voice is Let's go, Byron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, man, any final words? You know, I know, RJ, are you planning on taking the victory in July 28th? Uh, I mean, Outside of the fact that half the judges I've beaten previous closers <laughs> Olympics and the other half came from wish.com. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna win. <laughs> Are you blaming the judges like uh, in advance? Yeah, I mean <laughs> <laughs> of course. So he's, he's doing a pre-close, pre-flame, all of this is taking place currently. Elijah, did you pick up what he was putting down? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's hedging his bets. He's hedging his bets. But, I mean, just like year one, he thought he was going to take it. Uh, it didn't quite work out. But year two did work out. But um, he, we'll, we'll see what happens this year. We'll see what happens this year. We haven't seen all in since the 2020 Closers Olympics. <laughs> they were tired from closing, apparently. So. They went from all in to all out. Oh, hey. that, is, that is hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I am looking forward to seeing you guys you know, turn it up again. And here's the deal. Based on the way this thing is kind of panning out, you're you're really with some closers. So it's not like somebody lucked up and slid in. So I'm expecting to see some actual closed deals on closing day. So closing a deal may just be a prerequisite. Right. Right. You, you're you going to have to close. I think you have to do kind of what RJ did um year two. I think you have to close two deals. Yeah. In one in one 30 minute setting. That was just crazy. Long. That was bananas. <laughs> Yo, so listen, if you haven't already, make sure you go and get your tickets. Just go to closestolympics.com. Go ahead and pick that up. It's in. The, it's right now. It's just scrolling right down there. Yeah, just go ahead and pick that up. And we will see you in, at the press conference first, in the 20th, right? And we will also see you at the main event, July 28th through the 35th, I mean through the 31st, in the next couple of weeks. With that being said, we are out of here. Peace. Peace.